Relax. Relax, my friend. I have to let people know we make this show now. Uh, is okay. this the, the, yeah, it's probably the, that's probably the. me repost for my 300 follower. Please do. To do this, please. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. That, that's your thing. What? Why is it Margot Robbie? <laughs> is it an ad? What is that? I don't know. I, I don't know you, what you're I talking you about. on my television, and it was just Margot Robbie running. I think it was a, a, a Max ad. That's what it was. Yeah, I don't, I don't talk about my relationship with her. So no one should know I'm with her. <laughs> you can laugh if you want, but uh, that shit's true. Hey, man, I wouldn't put it past you if I'm honest. No, you would not. You should not. <laughs> the shit's getting real with Margot. It's, it's getting real in the Whole Foods parking lot. <laughs> hey, wherever she needs to meet me without the paparazzi is where I'll go. All right, here we go. Where is Let's it? make sure it's working. Oh, here we go. Oh, that is, that's a good, <laughs> what happened? I like that thumbnail. You goddamn right. <laughs> that's good stuff. That's better than what I gave you. <laughs> Although if Zemo had been in the background, that would have been pretty funny. I, I didn't even know Zemo was coming out yet. I guess Zemo's uh, coming out. Pass. You told me the season pass card was bad. So I looked up who it is and it's Zemo. The season pass card? Starting next week is Zemo. Oh, Nick, the new, the new. Yeah, uh, that's what we're gonna talk about that. You sound like a goddamn big bird. He talks like that. <laughs> Listen, everybody, welcome. Uh, this is uh bad Kirkland, idea. <laughs> Kirkland, <laughs> shut up, Kirkland Gray is down there at the bottom. There, we are going out live to the world on YouTube and the Twitch and Twitter. And uh, who's this weeb, says Benji Martinez. This is a world record playing Marvel Snap player. You may have seen him no. <laughs> on uh, the hit TV show, uh, The Good Doctor. He played an autistic Snap player uh, who came and showed Sean Murphy what was what. Uh, point of it is, is that he says, hey, Jaffe, let's do a little talk on Snap. You like Snap. I like Snap. And I says to the man, I says, well, I don't get a lot of people watching my shit when I talk about the snap but he says don't you worry about it i bring all the boys to the yard or something like that so kirkland let's talk marvel snap how you doing i'm doing good i don't think you could have recounted that conversation any more accurately um so i i do i do appreciate that That's do you ever get exactly... told your voice doesn't go with your face um no i get told that my voice is nasally and annoying and i think no. that people think my face is nasally and annoying so oh no some, no no i don't it's not an some, insult uh, it's just interesting there. because you look like you would have a higher pitch voice but you have a a, a, a baritone I, I you describing my voice as a baritone is like the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me so well, I, i'm a pretty nice that. guy that's called yeah. foreplay sir that's how it works mm. well, yeah pushing my buttons you okay now pause <laughs> how long have you been playing marvel snap uh since it got out of beta so since the very first season where it was like miles morales and spider-man and, and the next one was black panther after that do you because it's weird because i know that you know uh second breakfast got the rights back to the game i believe because they had all that shit going down with netties and whatnot but is is this is a hit game, right? I mean, this is a successful. It's not like Hearthstone big, but it's pretty big. Or do you know what the stats are on this thing? Um, I mean, I I don't even know. I don't know that Hearthstone is is more popular than this. I mean, that I mean, this has hit mainstream in a big way. Especially has it? Okay. Like I mean, yeah. How how do you market. where what do you know about that? Where have you seen that data to suggest something? I I mean, I I don't really. I just I just know how much engagement they get like on their channel and like on their Twitter and stuff. Uh, you can't really trust that. Like, I mean, I, that, uh, I was pointing to multiverses for that recently. Multiverse is coming back in May and right. They have like 350,000 Twitter followers and it's like, yeah, but they lost 99% of their player base. So, like who knows, who knows how many of those people actually play regularly or, um, you know, are, are invested or engaged in what's going on with the game. It certainly had its splash. Like when it came out, I will say this, I think the best like empirical evidence that I've ever had that this game is a big deal is when it launched on PC. Okay, I, as a Twitch streamer, which I am not because I'm not good at it, um, there's a lot of other people who are a lot better than me at it, so I just let them do it. Um, but as a, as a Twitch streamer, I get like two to three viewers, probably max. I might get seven on a good day. Um, for the PC launch of Snap, I had like 30 to 40 viewers fairly easily. 
interesting because they were doing a Twitch drop campaign. Like there were oh, so that's many right. people that's right. that cared about this game launching on Steam because it was previously just mobile for about like eight to twelve months. Yes. So there were so many people that cared about this game launching. A game which had been out like for how many months before that? And then it was in beta before that. So it's like you're talking about all the the makings of just not having any amount of hype, right? Early access, it's been available on other platforms, you know, it's it's old news, it's not necessarily relevant, and all they gotta do is say, we're putting the game on Steam and here's some free crap. And people just showed up in droves. I mean, it, it, it reminded me of like Pokemon Go or something like that. And maybe that's an app comparison, maybe this is gonna fall off, you know, in the same vein, but like, there's people that still play Pokemon Go. You know what I'm saying? Like, so this has its audience for sure. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I only ask because you know, I love this game. This is one of my favorite yeah. games of all time, and and I hope that it continues to thrive and do really, really well. Um, but yeah, no, it's the shit, and I, you know, there's a lot of people who just won't play it. Um, I'm it's trying to get. I'm trying to games. I find like I'll recommend it to people, and they're like, "Oh, what is like?" I'll say it's Marvel. It's you know the people you love for the MCU, and they're like, "Oh, that sounds cool. What is it?" I'm like, "Well, it's a card game," and they're like, eh. "Like <laughs> they don't want to touch it after that." But card games are in right now, man. Like with a uh, Bellatro and yeah, Bellatro is uh, fantastic. It's yeah, a great game. like card games are the hotness. After Neon White showed everybody that you can pretty much do whatever you want with cards. Slay the yeah. Spire as well. Obviously, this is a more traditional like deck based game, but even people that like, you know, magic and stuff that's on the rise. Yeah, I, I saw Garfield just raised two million bucks to start a new company. Uh, the guy who created magic. So he just got two million in seed money to start a new game company. That's a guy who there, there aren't very many sure things in game design, but he is one of them. He has been for quite some time. Um, so th th this what I will say, what I love about this, and I never did this in Hearthstone, and I was obsessed with Hearthstone, um, was, and I wasn't good at it. And I'm not good at this either, by the way. I'm not. I'm not. Um, but I loved in this uh, how fast it is to build decks because in Hearthstone, I never built a deck. I was the hunter. Every now and then when I got a cool new card, I'd slot it in. But I was pretty much playing that same build for years. Uh, on this, it is so quick um, uh, to make a deck and so fun to try things that I'm I'm making new decks all the time, and uh, it's it's fucking delightful, man. How far have you? How high have you gotten in the ranks in this game? Um, I hit infinite one time, and oh I got really God. close this season. And um, I was trying to get there before War Machine came out because I knew War Machine was going to mess me up because people are going to be playing. That's the thing about this game is when like a new card comes out and you don't have the card or even just when the card is out and you don't know what to expect from it. People start doing crazy stuff. And the whole thing with this game is like the snap mechanic. And it's basically like, you know, going into the 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 last card flip of like Texas Hold'em or whatever. Like you're like, am I all in? What am I betting? You know, am I, I snap am I for right away. <laughs> That's why you're bad. No, no, I'm not. It's not. No, whatever. Um, I, <laughs> okay. Here's, here's the biggest cheat I ever did because I don't like building decks based on other people's decks. Like there's a sure. site, there's many sites you can go to. I went to one, this I'm trying, I don't remember the season. It was like maybe four seasons ago. I went to one and, um, uh, uh, what was I, say? I, I went to one of these uh, sites and I built a deck and it's like, here's how you make this deck like a badass deck. Here's how you play. Here's when you snap here, you know? And I said, fuck it for this season. I'm going to follow the rules. I'm going to do exactly what it says. Um, and I got like to 90. I've never gotten above 90 in this game in terms of my ranking. Uh, so I've never gotten to infinite, but in those cases, I wouldn't snap because it would be like, oh, okay, I didn't draw Viper by hand two. Okay, fuck yeah. it. I'm retreating or I'm not snapping in this one or whatever. But it just, it's so much fun to snap and just hope you get lucky. But yeah, I don't, I, I play it. I'd love to be more serious about it. But it ultimately, I had a programmer tell me once when I was obsessing over Hearthstone, we worked together at the same game company. He said, you know, the people who are good at math are good at these games. He says, because all these games are is math. I think, I think 
Snap is a little less math than Hearthstone, but certainly there is a value to being very comfortable with numbers and patterns and all that shit that my brain just doesn't do. I just get tickled pink when it's like, you know, uh, hey, everybody got or, or everybody got a plus one because Captain America is with them. Like, I love how they build the narrative of the characters into the powers of the characters. It's so it's on, to, on that note, what, did, how did you feel about the, the recent events that we had? Hated it. There was the, uh, well, at first there was the Valentine's day, like power couple thing, which I saw hey, well, you posting about on Twitter. No, you liked it. Don't even a, try it. Well, and I like it. Back. Well, no, 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 no. I made it. a video about it. I, I, I liked it as a novelty and it was kind of fun for a day. But then a couple of days later, they said, now we're going to do it with anyone who's an Avenger and anyone who's an X-Men. And it's not that I didn't like it conceptually, but it pushed the game into a realm of more thinking than I like. I, I like thinking. I like strategizing and stuff, but it was too much bookkeeping at that point. It's like I had to worry about the other player, his cards, what he had played, and now well, maybe he's got a Captain America he's waiting to play. Maybe he's got a Wolverine. And I'm just like, it's it 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 was too much, too many brain cycles, and it kind of blew the the kind of bubblegum flavor of the game for me. I mean, did you like those events? Well, yeah, because it sounds like we're approaching the game in different ways. Like I'm always trying to play at the highest level that I can play. I, I guess I'm I'm a I'm a sweaty player, as you might call it. That doesn't mean I'm good. But that means that I'm like I'm I'm focusing on it. I, I don't really like to play it as a uh, like a multitasking thing. Like I usually want to like actually focus on the game and try. Oh, to me too. Me, it's my lunch game. I love playing lunch and just playing Marvel Snap and getting lost in it. But so uh, in that regard, like I think I'm all always. Um... Oh my god, that that super. I'll chat get the, is amazing. Let me get the super chats. Big big old pancake. Thank you, buddy. He says, Jaffe, you're a cool guy. Good for you. What? Let me tell you something. You goddamn right, it's good for me. But here's let me give you guys a tip. Anybody watching this and going, how can I be cool like Jaffe? I know I know Kirkland's down there going, I want to be cool like Jaffe. No, it's easy. Just stop giving a shit. Stop giving a <laughs> shit. Big old pancake. And then look at Goat Gamer down there. He says, Jaffe, thank you for the super chat, buddy. He says, Jaffe, are you worried about Kirkland's relationship with Reforge? And how close they've gotten. Rumors are swirling. Reforge is giddy. Kirk's in love. I, I know who Reforge, I know what Reforge is. He, he's a, uh, uh, I have great admiration for his consistency. I don't know how the mm. motherfucker gets up in the morning every single day at the same time and does his fucking show. But I appreciate that. But other than that, I don't really know the guy. Uh, what is this uh, goat gaming talking about, Kirkland? Is there a problem with the uh, people hate Reforge and you're, hanging on them and it's looking bad. I mean, what, what's happening in the drama of YouTube? I've given up all that. We, we don't have any drama. It sounds like he's, uh, he, he's claiming that I'm in love or something that we have, you know, he's basically saying, uh, Kirk and reforge sitting in a tree. Um, you know, that old adage, but no, I, I, uh, I go on there every, I, I have a regular like hour slot now on his channel every Monday at noon. Okay. Um, and I, if he's saying that Reforge is giddy about me being there, I think that's because for whatever reason, since the the whole Xbox drama and like, like Reforge does a really good job at covering news, because he articulates very well and he formulates and articulates op opinions rapidly and very well. Like he he can word things very, very mm. articulately, and so people go to him for sort of what's the first spin like. Oh, Xbox is is saying they're going to bring these four games to other platforms. What's the what's the first take? What's the spin? He's good at that. You see a lot of people in television that are good at that that have been very successful. Um, right now, it's like just games, basically. Like nothing's really going on, so people are less attracted to him, particularly because that's not really his brand of covering games. So the content that I was doing there when all the controversy was going on was not doing nearly as well comparatively, but it was like, well, it's doing well enough and it kind of takes a load off of him because I come in and talk half the time. So, and it's a favor to me because I want to be involved in stuff, get more exposure, get more experience, do more of this like co-hosting thing. So it's great, all great. Now, because there's like only games happening, the content that we've been doing is like doing the best, like at, right now. I think that'll be very temporary. I, but... I, I'm, yeah, listen, man, I have gotten absolutely... I mean, unless it's something big, like, oh my fucking God, you know, Phil Spencer got fired. Okay. I want to talk about that, but I'm so over 
And I, I just want to talk about the games 95%. I went on this show the other day on Collins Channel. Uh, it's their newest show from the guy from Easy Allies. What is that show called? Uh, Summon Sign, I think. And all it is is they talk about video games. And I was like, oh, it's so nice to just talk about games. Yes. And games we're playing and play mechanics and what's cool and what's challenging instead of just like, oh, this bullshit pontificating about all these fucking billion dollar. Who gives a shit? Fuck you. That's what I say. That's what I say, Kirkland. And I mean, that was you... the original idea with this was, you know, to talk about a game that we both love. It's not like we couldn't talk about other games, but the, the whole thing about doing variety and doing different games is like you sort of live and die by like what's coming out that month. And you can't talk about anything that's old news. And so like I with Snap, it's like we both have love. We both have passionate for the game. And that's sort of consistent and continuous. And so like yeah. that's sort of where the idea came from, whereas like. I'm really enjoying Rise of the Ronin right now. I don't know that you've touched Rise of the Ronin. I've know? been so obsessed like, with Dragon's Dogma too. Lately. Exactly. So, so it's like we we have nothing to talk about in that regard. Well, um, I oh, you 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 underestimate my talent. Um, no, I know it would just. Be I like, can talk I about ancillary. anything. Let's talk yeah, about Rise of the Ronin for a moment. Here we we'll, here we go. Let's talk about Rise of the Ronin briefly. We'll get to the snap. All four people who want to hear us talk about snap. We'll get to that. <laughs> You're just, um, you're just trying to get out of doing I'm a lot of Snap live show me, me, as me, much as you possibly can. It is. Can. I love Snap, and I want to <laughs> play Snap. But here's what I here's what I'm telling you: there are people out there that do these kinds of shows that are genuinely savants at this game. So I'm not. No one's going to come here and go. You know what Jaffe said to do? You are uh, underestimating play, me, sir. Play Sue okay. Storm. I've gone to uh, Infinite uh, one, to all Scarlet, of one time because he wants so. to see him fuck. That's a good strategy. I mean, they, what? No one's coming here for stratagems. You know what I'm saying? So the point being is that we got to figure out, you know, what our niche is in the world of Snap. Here's the point, though. Rise of the Ronin. Entertainers, maybe. Great. Rise of the Ronin, sir. Uh, do you think Sony was like, man, we got nothing for this year. Let's pick this up, you know, because I'm not saying it's bad. I know you really like it, and I will get around to playing it. But my understanding is for a first party game, it's kind of underperformed based on what most Sony PlayStation fans are used to. Uh, do you get the criticism of that or you don't? I mean, I, I think I'd be lying if I said I didn't get it. Like by get would mean, do I understand? Do I understand what it's founded on? As a player, do you think it's a valid criticism that no. the game does not live up same, to other first party titles? I think the same exact thing happened with Skull and Bones earlier this year. Like okay. People have an idea of what a game is supposed to be that they have formulated in their mind, um, which can be influenced by a lot of factors. It can be influenced by precedent. It can be influenced by marketing. It can be influenced by very dumb statements from a very not acting prudently CEO who says, oh, this <laughs> game's going to be quadruple A. Yeah. It can be a variety of factors that contribute to that. But people get an idea of this game is supposed to be this, and when it comes out, or even before it comes out, when there's clips of it that come out, or previews that come out, you know, if if Destin Legary says, oh, the Flash is too fast, this game sucks, or like, whatever, that's not literally what he said, I'm just memeing. But there, a consensus opinion gets formed very early, because I think people just, they want an excuse not to spend their money. They want it, because nobody has any money right now, except for, you know, some people. But they want an excuse to say, this game's bad, I don't need it. Because then that, that gets rid of a problem for them. They're not coveting a thing anymore. You know, if you have a if you have a Final Fantasy Rebirth or, you know, one of those games, like, you can't say, oh, it's trash. So there's going to be that envy, that, that I want it sort of attitude from everybody. And you've got, you know, uh, you've got a number of those in a given year. So people are going to have games that they're already attracted to, that they already need to, you know, Go, dive into their wallet to pay for and so the other ones are kind of like distractions i think so if people can find a reason to rally behind the cause of that a game is is awful or trash or terrible i feel like they want to sort it into that column or they want to hit that button of eh, get it out of here as quickly as they possibly can because there's a level of convenience to that so to to not have the jury be still out and to reach a very quick condemnation of games like skull and bones or suicide squad or rise of the ronin i just think there's a level of convenience for for the consensus opinion to be that or for the populace to do that and so all that has to happen is some clip come out of skull and bones where it looks like you're playing a mobile game with one 
thing that you engage with in the entire game among a multitude of systems and gameplay features. And people are like, oh, this game looks terrible. I don't need to give it any more attention. And then they write it off because that, that, that feels good for them to not have to worry about that as a, as a factor anymore. And I think uh, the same another, thing happened another... with Rise of the Ronin. Like, yeah. I think, it's, I think people saw it and it looks like, it looks like a, like a 4k remaster of like a PS3 game or something. And people are like, oh, well that's, that doesn't look like I b bought my PS5 for that. I'll skip it. It's a fantastic game, but like nobody cares. Well, I don't, I didn't, I haven't not played it because of the graphics. I don't really care about graphics. I think it looks good. And I have always thought the trailers look pretty cool. It's because I heard the open world stuff was like the combat. If you love uh, uh, Team Ninja or whatever they are, uh, it's great. But once they get into the stuff that they're not that experienced with, it kind of just feels like another Ubisoft fetch quest, complete all the checklist games. Ubisoft uh, has done very well with those games with Far Cry. And, sure. And I don't want to play them, Creed. but I appreciate very well. So there must be an audience for those. Yeah. Well, I mean, we will, we will, I'm very curious to see how this one sells. I mean, honestly, right now though, dragons, uh, dogma has me just, just tickled pink, man. It's, it's a joy. Quinn O'Connor. Hello, Quinn O'Connor. He's just, I can't believe I'm watching this right now. A year and a half ago, I watched Jaffe all the time. Why didn't you watch me all the time now, you son of a bitch? He mentioned this game Snap and I laughed. I said I'd never play a card game. What am I, a beta soy boy? But a, a comic book head. Fast forward to today. And guess what, you son of a bitch? I've never been so obsessed with anything in my life. I have practically variant complete and I play so much I don't even watch YouTube anymore. LOL. Well, <coughs> Quinn O'Connor, you see... I'm always right. I think you just went all around the. Sorry, the I was UK thinking about Skull and Bones. One. What? I think you just went all around the UK with that. that oh, is it the UK? Amazing impression <laughs> that you just did. But you I got uh, Gaz in the chat, by the way. Gaz, come on in, Gaz. VIPs, what is Gaz? Yeah. Put him in. Come on, septic motherfucker. Get in here. I'll put. I'll see, here's a link. <laughs> I Kirkland's like, hey, we're gonna do a show about Snap. We are. We're gonna talk we're about we are we're, uh, we're gonna talk about Snap. I love Snap, man. You know who I don't apparently know not. He, I love it. Do you know who I don't know if he likes me is Ben Brode? I don't even know if he knows who I am, but I've reached Probably out not. to him once or twice and I've been like, Hey, let's do a conversation. Let's do an interview. And uh he don't call me. He don't respond. So I don't think he loves me. Fine, fuck him. What does he Just know? Put it in the chat. <laughs> Pizza delivery, motherfucker. Kirkland, you have Dude, to get, get that guy in here that um his understand. girlfriend got uh infected by the woke mind virus. To oh my god, me. he's dating a child though. It's like it's like Dan Schneider that documentary. You've been watching oh, that documentary? God. Yeah, dude. That is something, man. That is yeah. a goddamn cockadoodie something. I'm on the last episode, and uh, um, boy. What happened to that Drake kid? Like I'm too old yeah. for like my, my kids are too young and I'm too old. We kind of missed out on Drake and Josh, but I knew of the show and my goodness gracious, man, the fact that the dad knew all of it and he just kind of was like, all right, I'll let the mom take care of it. And she totally fucked that kid up. Oh, tragic. I don't man. think that's not fair to the, excuse me. <laughs> what do you mean it's not that's fair, not fair to the dad at all no the dad was great but the, yeah, the yeah. dad was like going okay well i guess the mom's got it i let everybody know what am i gonna do and then lo and behold he was right um what the fuck am i right am i right kirkland what the I, fuck? i'm not exactly sure what take you're articulating to be totally i'm art i'm articulating can you imagine being somebody that saw this car crash crash coming from a year to two years before it happened and was trying to warn people and he was just getting poo-pooed and go shut your fucking mouth let us make our money off your kid and then it turns out he was right after he had been pushed out of the picture and the mother wasn't able to protect her kid i think the documentary does a very good job of, of trying to make you understand how um devastating that would be oh yeah. yeah i'm totally sympathetic for the dad absolutely um <clears throat> jaffy i'm about to sleep bro fuck you guys you piece of shit get your ass in here gotta it wake up like for ramadan big fucking deal here. it's gotta be like two or three in the morning yeah but allah wants you here he put you in my path so you could be here what's that brother <laughs> he can preach the word he knows i'll talk <clears throat> religion with him talk religion all goddamn day marvel let's play let's play uh religion snap who would be in your deck 
<laughs> I would put, I would, I'm gonna, I, I would put, um, well, I would put who's the guy that betray, betrayed Jesus, the Judas guy. Oh he would my be, bro! Come oh, he on. would be the come star on. of my fucking deck. Come because on, he, he would come on because he could totally sneak in unawares and and kill anyone, right? Okay, so he would come in. Um, uh, who else would be a good religious character? I was raised Jewish. There's a character named Elijah, and he's invisible. So he'd be good. I'd take Elijah and Judas. Y'all are, y'all are still waning on him, right? He, he's you waiting he's for him to come at some point. Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. Uh, who who else would be good uh, from the Christian world? Uh, I mean, Jesus, the real Jesus or the the Fox News Jesus. The real Jesus would not be good uh, because he was not competitive. He'd be all like, "Hey, watch your feet," but. The Fox News Jesus, I think, would be just like, don't fuck with that guy. Because he's pretty much, they think he's Donald Trump on a dinosaur with a machine gun. Um, so what about the, and, and I don't know much about Allah. So Allah probably would be quite powerful. Um, but you could never have a card of them because if you had one, they'd kill you. Because they have to show that it's, they have to draw them on the card. Do you understand that, what I'm saying, Kirkland? No, not at all. You can't draw a Your lot. Your chat is mean. Jesus. How is my chat meaning? What, what What are you looking at? Uh, One guy asked if I'm on puberty blockers. Somebody a... else was like... I don't know. Well, don't read it's the chat. Up. Talk to me. I'm here. I'm real. They're just ones and zeros. I am too. In the Matrix. <laughs> In the Matrix, did you see that woman? that doing. You're like, what am I doing here? What What do you want from me? You You don't. You don't. People come on my show, or I come on their shows, and they act surprised. What did you think you're gonna get? Let Let's be boring. Let's be boring. Oh, hello, Kirkland. What shall we talk about? Go. I mean, we're we're over 25 minutes in, Go. and we haven't even really covered Snap at all. So it, you really it's, want it's completely change my expectations well uh, let's, go, no, let's cover it it's cover no let's cover it let's go go <laughs> let's share your screen which screen you want war machine i didn't get war machine have you already gotten war machine yes i got war machine how did um, you get them i bought them with tokens because oh, uh, as, I, as we were yeah. both saying uh it, the spotlight caches are not not kind to us at all no no uh, i saved up all my shit and i got uh today's spotlight cash was like um I could have sworn I already had the card and it just, there was a bug and it didn't let me dust it basically. But it was, uh, I don't even remember who she was. Some fucking card. I'm like, really? That's my fucking thing I work all day for. But anyway, yeah. So you saved up 6,000 tokens. You got war machine. War machines power lets you move. He's pretty much Jeff, right? He's just a stronger version of Jeff. Correct. Jeff. Well, he, the makes, he makes every card into Jeff for one turn. Wait, so, wait. So uh, af after you play him. Nothing can stop you from playing. Oh, any card. Oh, I thought yeah. it was just his card. No. Oh, so fuck. He's, he's, he's a pretty beast. solid. Yeah. Yeah. He's nice. So that's, I wanted to get him. The spotlight cash right now is like Silk. And that's who I got. Card. I got Silk. And I'm like, I already own Silk. Yeah. That's why I didn't do it. Because, yeah. But, I mean, this this card is is fantastic on paper it's a it's a little more technical like again it's kind of like that like yeah it's silver samurai samurai thanks quinn see like quinn he was making fun of you earlier and like you're actually here for like the actual content and everybody um, else is just like messing around being idiots and like you have to like, understand oh, i want to like hear about snap and he's like oh i'm irish and i'm gonna talk like this and we'll order it <laughs> i'm surprised he's still here I, I applaud you, sir, for your, uh, your faithfulness. Yeah, yeah. It's a good quality to have. Um, But, yeah, you have to have some perseverance, I think, to, to open these freaking spotlight caches. Because, yeah, you get a bunch of junk um, that you already have or, like, whatever. So I try to get the tokens as much as I can um, and, and, and save them up. I, basically, if there's a week that um has good cards like for all three of them or at least two of them i want how do you know is it just want. you know what's in the cash that week just because it just shows you underneath the thing it's those four because a lot of times it's a mystery yeah right? it, it um it shouldn't be i thought there was a question i don't, I don't really play on pc they're the three are right here uh yeah if you actually go to where you level up your cards you'll see four cards and one of them is a a, a mystery hang on a sec 
Hey, I'm doing a stream. Can I call you in a bit? Yeah, I'm still watching TV tonight. Yeah, I'm doing a stream on Marvel Snap. Would you watch it? You don't even know what it is. All right, I'll, I'll call you when I'm done. Okay, bye. bye. Am I covering up the thing? What? No, I can see it. No, movie to the left. What? I, I can, oh, Jesus Christ. There's nothing there. No, put me under under you. That's Why gross, am I, dude. I'm to the right of it. <laughs> I started out underneath you. What happened? You're still underneath me. It's, oh, it's like. Oh, it must, it must be acting weird. Yeah. Must no, be. I'm to the right. I don't care. Talk right. about War Machine. Uh, do you, I'm do you so think good at gonna, this. Yeah, you're very, you're <laughs> excellent, actually. I've never had a better co-host. Um, well, well, because you know why? Let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> Here's the problem. Here's the real fucking problem. Is people tune into this shit, I think. Now, you correct me if I'm wrong here. Because they want genuine connection with people. They aren't looking... Like every now and then someone's got something insightful to pontificate and bloviate on. I think that's wonderful. But most yeah, dr people Dr. Dry Rub says we can't see the game. <laughs> Who the fuck is Dr. Dry Rub? The fuck kind of name is that? I've heard of that guy before, Dr. Dry Rub. Um when you can't see the game. Oh yeah, you can't see the game. Hang on. Un momento, por favor. Hang on. There you go. Better? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Listen, the insight into Marvel Snap. So War Machine is a good card. It seems like he's a very disruptive card, correct? I mean, that's going to blow up a lot of people's fucking um, problems, correct? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's disruptive so much as he allows you to pretty much avoid any disruption. Like he's kind of like a get out of jail free card. So somebody plays Storm, doesn't matter. I can play into the Storm location now. Or, you know, uh there's a location, you know, there's the ones that say like your cards immediately are killed if you play them into into this play. I think it's Death's Domain is what it's called. You or yeah, or it. like if you have uh the, the what's the bar the bar with no name like if you have low score there no Lu i think it's luke's bar so luke's bar but no see, luke's bar tosses actually... you back out right yeah but i don't even think that it works on that one so we're not even coming up with some good examples no but no like no Goose... i don't mean that bar i mean the bar that if you have the bar with no name just means that you lose if you have more points so that that doesn't matter but yeah it, but if you do something for, like, like play sentry then you could drag the void over into the bar no, no but game. this card lets you play sentry on the right which is yeah helpful. that's pretty good too that's yeah. pretty good too so have you won that... pretty much every match you've been in no 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 it's not overpowered so this is the deck that i was using um and so uh, some some things that he does well is you can put goose down and then if you play him after you play him you can play into the goose with a, a card that is cost four or five or six so that's really mm. helpful your opponent can't do that so you put Goose on a lane, and then you play War Machine in a different lane, and then after that you can play pretty much any card you want into the Goose lane. So how do you counter War lane. Machine? What's a good counter to War Machine? I mean, obviously Cosmo, but you have to know he's going to play it first, right? So that's not going to yeah, work. Yeah, I honestly, like, <laughs> I don't think you do. Um, the, 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 honestly, War Machine takes a, a, a lot of thought to use. Kingpin. Because it's until the end of the next turn. So you only get that one turn to use him um, after you play him. And then after that, you don't really have the benefit. So you need to do, you need to play him. And you need to do whatever you're going to do, like play Giganto in, in any game, right. any lane that you want to, or you can play War Machine on five and then play Infinite on six. The other thing that you can Wait, do. Wait, you can play Infinite on six with War Machine? Because it says that nothing can stop you from playing cards anywhere. So yeah, it's, but isn't the rule that you can't play if you played a card? Nothing last can time? stop you. It says nothing can. Well, stop fuck you. this card, and fuck you for having him, and I don't. Um, we should play in a second. We should show the we should show the chat who's okay. the better snapper. <laughs> so how how did you feel about this past um, seasons card season pass card Hope Summers? Did Love you... Hope Summers. Okay. Uh, I'm a big fan uh, because I, you know, I'm, I don't know. I, I, I do try to build a deck so I know I have late game cards and early game cards, but at the same time, 
that's not my strongest uh, ability. And so to have a card that can I can just grind new energy for, I think is pretty cool. Um, has she been very popular or no? Well, I, I think she is to the extent that she works in a lot of decks. Like basically you just get you just get a six cost play on turn five. Like if you have her in your deck, if all you have to do is play a four or, or any card really on top of her on turn four, and then now you've got six energy for turn five. So it's it's kind of a better way of doing like an electro or like that that sort of thing because electro restricts you to like you can only play one card for the rest oh, of the yeah, unless you bullshit. get rid of them. Yeah. So like a really great concept for War Machine actually is you play Hope Summers on three, you play War Machine on top of her on four. Now I can just play Infinite on five in any any lane that I want to, because I've got the extra energy and I've got the War Machine effect. So you can do some crazy stuff with those two cards together. Right. The thing about Hope Summers is like, <clears throat> like you said, I am not somebody that really likes to go online and like look up like what are the best meta decks or like whatever and like you like. I the most fun that I had with this game actually was when Annihilus came out because it was completely good. completely new type of card and I was like oh my gosh you mean that I can take Sentry now and I can you know send the void over to the other side like that's crazy that's a crazy power swing so I basically made my own deck around Annihilus and I got up to like the high 80s maybe even 90 oh, wow with that deck that like I made and like, that's the most fulfilling thing for me is like, if I can make a deck around a card or a couple of cards that I find really entertaining to play with, like I want to have fun. Like that's the main thing when I'm playing the game and I want to have a fun with a deck and, and with cards in that deck that I like, if, if it feels like the cards are very like, yeah, it's a good, it's good. It's a good card. If it, But if it's not like, pow, I got him. Like if it's, if that doesn't have that feeling to it, I will probably set the game down for uh, several weeks because like I want a deck that features cards like that that have those sort of like bombastic effects that I really enjoy and Annihilus had that. So yeah. the only thing about Hope Summers is like it's kind of one of those cards where it's like it, yeah, it's good. It's a good card, but like it doesn't really have that like like I'm not really conceiving of decks. Yeah, I play Marvel Snap effects. like Brad Pitt did baseball and Moneyball. I just want to get on base. I don't need. I don't need the sexy time. Nice. I just want to. I want to win. Well, yeah, so, this is a great card for that. Um, yeah. Do you have? Do you have Gladiator? Because like do. that's another He's card where it's just great, like high power. Great it's high power, card. baby. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unbelievable. Um, what about? Did you do any of the chasing for the albums? Like I thought that was gonna. Like I did. I filled one album because I really liked the little new emotes. And then <clears throat> after the first one, I kind of lost interest because it was like. You can't really control what comes up and when it comes up, if you don't have any gold and I get it, you're supposed to want to pay for it because you want it so badly, but it, it, it didn't get its hooks in me as much as I thought it would. Are um, you chasing those or what? No, I think it's total bait. Like, I think it's like a, a t it's totally a way to get people to spend money. Um, I did get, this is like the one that I was like, I'm completing this one. Because I'm a real big Venom fan. Like, I just think he's a really cool character. I enjoyed him in, like, the original PlayStation 1 Spider-Man game. I thought right. his character was really cool. I don't really like how they've done him in um, the movies necessarily. Like, the Venom movies are fine. But right. I just, I like, the, I like that character. I think he his design is really exceptional. I haven't played Spider-Man 2, but I assume that he's really cool in Spider-Man 2 as well. I'm super excited about that Venom game where I get to play as him. That's yeah. going to be awesome. So I liked Venom. I wanted this emote. Like, this is cool emote. Like, I, I use this when I, like, get, like, a gentleman's win. Like, I'm like, ah, I got him. Like, you know, like, like I, I like this emote a lot. I wanted this Kingpin card as well. Like, that's just, like, my, that's my Kingpin variant. Like, right, That's a very right, right. cool variant. So I was like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm, I'm splurging on these. Like, each one of these was, like, 1,200 gold. So this is, like, rough to, like, complete this. I already had Did, Wait, you paid real money, though? Um, for some of them, yes. Basically, uh, they did that thing where they were like in the store. They were like, if you buy, if you buy a hundred dollar packet of gold, we'll just give you two hundred dollars worth. And I was like, okay, like uh, th that sounds like a good deal. Like, so I just that just became my bank of gold now, you know. So like, yeah. I, I'm still going off of that. What uh, is amazing about that. this game to me is the 
the money I have happily given them. Like I give these guys basically get a ten dollar a month subscription for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they've been getting it every month since the beta. It came out of beta, and I feel great about it. And people are like I you hate spent that over a hundred and twenty yeah. bucks on this game. I'm like, I don't care. It's it gives me so much. I have on Steam. If I go to Steam, I think I have like four hundred and eighty hours, uh, wow. in in this game. Um. So they're welcome to it. They've entertained the fuck out of me and I'm, I'm grateful for it. Um, let's do this. Let's play a game real quick and then let's talk about okay. it, but don't look at the screen. I'm going to have, you have to go on honor system here. Oh, right? Okay. You're going to, you're going to show yours. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you got damn right. Um, you think they're coming to see your, uh, sub MLG play? No, no. I'm a, I'm a beast at this fucking thing. I don't know if that's just not true at all. Um, okay. Let me send you a, uh, Oh no, 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 no. Friendly battle. God damn it. Jeffy, you shithead. Do you okay. want to just put it in a private chat? No. You ready? Oh, you're, you're just going to make me like enter it super fast. Well, how else would I do it? You could put it in the private chat. Yes. Yeah. All right. Just tell, just tell, what is it? What are we doing? Are we telling me or are we... Hang on, hang on. Oh, okay. Um, let's put this on so people can see your screen while I'm getting you this. Oh, okay. No, God, just generate the code, you fuck. Here's what I think it is, Kirkland. Uh, hang, let, me, let me write you this first up a moment. Um, what do you think of Pixie, by the way? Um. See, I, I, guys, I had I had graphics, I had everything ready for this, and he's just like, "Yeah, let's you, just kill that dead." No, like, I didn't say rival. kill it. I didn't say kill it. Do it, do it. Talk about it. But you got to understand, I need to be entertained. I'm, you know, I mean, I'm, you know. Hey, we're at our highest viewer count of the whole stream. So. Yeah, you know, don't look at the viewer count. Never look at that. Um, how do I send you a private thing? It's it's in the right. It's on the right. It says private chat, man. You're on the right, and it says private. I got him, boys. You hear what I told him? He said, he... "Bazinga." <clears throat> just just tell me the. Thing. Shut up. Here, it's this number. You have to understand when I encounter someone. <laughs> That is as uptight as you are. I have no. Where am I, I, I even looking? Is this I, on Twitter? I is, gave it in the this? private chat in the goddamn oh, thing. Show, oh yeah, okay. listen, listen. Making fun of my Irish accent. Um, when I encounter somebody as uptight as you, I have an obligation uh, to push back a little bit because you gotta, you gotta breathe. You gotta breathe, baby. Are you Mister Marmalade? Stuff. I am Mr. Marvel. Oh, we're so... Oh, Mockingbird. I don't have her yet. All right. Oh, now don't look at the screen. Are you looking? You must be looking at mine because you just shouted out Mockingbird. I was... Yeah, but no, I was looking at not your game screen. I was looking at your ad to stage, which has War Machine on it. Oh, okay. Okay. I, okay. So listen, do you... Do you... Don't look at my screen, okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I've got, I'll turn your thing off. Okay, here we go. You can even, if you're really good at this, you can like swap. You can swap back and forth. I'm not, I don't know. That might be too much for you, but. I don't want the audience to miss out on what they we're doing. Okay, here we go. I have the sound turned down because StreamYard's a son of a bitch. Um, Mr. Marmalade. They whitewashed Pixie? Pixie's a black lady? Really? <clears throat> Did they add undo intern recently? Yeah. That, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. You're welcome to zoom in on that amazing variant, by the way. Oh, Psylocke? Yeah, she's cool. That's a nice one. Okay. God. Oh shit. Oh well. Fuck you, motherfucker. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. 
After turn four, not the uh, not the Black Widow. Hmm. That, one, that one really hurts for sure. Um, yeah, it's tough. This, mm, this is tough. Okay. For being so entertaining right now. See, I can't, I can't talk to them about like what's on my screen because they can't see it. But well, well, you just, you know, <laughs> <laughs> just fuck it. It's just, you know, just shut the fuck up. Do I have a PO <laughs> box? I do have a PO box. Yes. What is mock? What does she do? Cost one less for each of your cards in play. Yeah, I think she's hot. <laughs> she's super hot. She is. Okay. What do you want for me? Sure. She hot lady. She hot. She hot. She very hot lady. She hot lady. Why you make fun of the lady? Uh, oh, I screwed myself. Oh, so War Machine goes away. Where did he go? He only lasts for one turn, but he got he turned into Hulk. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay. Nice. The uh, the ultimate move. Oh, that's unfortunate. I think I might have got you here. You're going to have to have some serious power. Yeah. Mayhaps. Guys, what's he got, guys? Getting oh, intern, in sorry. No, nah, I don't think so. Ooh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Oh, I thought you had something there. I thought you had something there. <laughs> Is Law Degree now so people can stream, or does Costco Gray do? Who the fuck is Costco Gray? Kirkland? Oh, because Kirkland Pants. It's Kirkland Costco. But what? Did, what are they saying about my Law Degree? You have to have. A, do you have a Law Degree? Yeah, I do. Do you regret it? Ooh, that's an interesting question. No, because I I wouldn't be in the school. profession that I am in now. Um, but I'm what? in a lot of debt, so it's like I don't know. Dang, that's dang yeah. If you do dang if you don't. What are deal. you? What are you in? What what do you do for work? Uh, I work in alcohol regulation. Okay, because there's, there's I don't a lot know what of that rules is. and stuff what that about. Is. Like you regulate alcohol companies. Yeah, I do. I do. Okay, this is a bit rough for me. Um, yeah, we'll start with that. <clears throat> Ooh, and not so rough anymore. Although there's nowhere to play. Yeah, I know. That's unfortunate. Um, Jesus. So this will give me. Oh, you know what you should do? What? What? Take longer. <laughs> you know, wouldn't it be great if this game had a thing where it was like a card you could play and it sped everything up? Like you only had ten oh seconds. Oh my god! Are you just gonna you're just gonna spam me with this? What? Okay. With what? With with uh, Black Widows. Oh, that's a good idea. Thanks, man. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I hate you so. It, much. It's better than having that fucking sentry. What's the fucking sentinel that makes two of them? 
master mold or something? No, it's not, actually. I hate that fucking thing. All right, so you have Shang-Chi. I don't have the audio on chat just because it's this is uh this is StreamYard. It's a little it's a little weird. Cause you can you can't share audio of a certain I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I think I might have outsmarted you. Maybe. Oof, nope. No, I did not. It was a good play. It was a very good play. I've got literally nothing. <clears throat> you can't play Gamora. Nor Shang-Chi because of Jotunheim. I don't know what else you have. You know what you should do? Take longer. Wow. Oh, I had you muted. Did you say something? Um, yeah. No, I'm kidding. I heard you. I heard you. Boom. That was a good play to win Luke's bar, but not much else. Oh, I'm sorry. Was there another way to win? Does 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 Marvel Snap give me? I don't know. Is your deck that bad? Like, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I thought I beat you. Did I lose that round? Yeah, you lost. Oh yeah. Uh, actually, no. Let me change decks. Uh, try <laughs> this guy. Oh my word! Uh, Is this compelling? Are people watching this? Four hundred and thirty-two motherfuckers. I don't. You know, I don't even know who's watching this because when I stream on this thing, Streamyard, uh, it goes out to Twitch. But I don't know who yeah. really watches shit on Twitch. I think it adds to the the viewer count, but I don't think it is uh you know playstation portal uh this is marvel snap yeah i don't so yeah quinn i was like why is he playing nova yeah i don't even know what what that deck was but maybe i need to teach you how to play snap david is that what this should be about me just teaching you how to play the game Oh, well, he didn't even, you're going to get, like. I'll just cancel if it's not you. No. I'm here. You didn't even tell me. Like, I'm not looking. I'm in yeah, my Yeah, you'll game. be fine. You'll be fine. Miss Marmalade. <coughs> All right. Now, this is where the rubber, I don't know what I'm talking about. The rubber meets the road. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, all right, here you go. Yeah, are you brave enough to snap back? There you he go. is. He Goddamn is, right. folks. Marvel Snap Twitch viewership is high. Are you? I don't, I, yeah, I never do well on Snap. Kirkland's like, yeah, because you don't talk about Snap. You, yeah, what the fuck are you yeah, talking this about? This has been like, I thought oh. we were going to talk about like the new season and we will. Yeah, but nobody's going to, unless you make that its own video, nobody's going to get to that. Yeah, they like to hang out. That would be cool if you if you cut it and made it its own video, but you won't do that. Give me really? editor status. 
Dude, I edit like a bitch. I am a badass motherfucking editor. I don't know if that's true, but I like to edit. <laughs> you need to loosen up. You're too much of a lawyer. You got to get that out. You got to get that kick. You know, <laughs> blood <laughs> carbon out. Blood got carbon little, out. Got a little old listening. You got to get that out. JC was a carpenter. Dumb Deadpool, yeah. Yeah, you're you're toast. Really? Like you're done though. Yeah, well. Like if you if you flip to my screen right now, like everybody's gonna be like, "Oh, Jaffe, get get out of there." Yeah, well, it's possible. It's possible. Is this a Corvus Corvus Blade Proxima Midnight deck? I don't have him. You didn't even discard anything. Mm -mm. Whew, this is not looking good for you, boy, chat. Mm -hmm. This is not looking good for you, boy. Oh, my word. Are you kidding me? <laughs> JC turned water into wine so this lawyer can regulate him. Amen to that, brother. You're overcommitted, Quinn says. I'm overcommitted? I don't know. I'm just waiting for Kirkland to play something. I'm surprised that a game like this has such bad network. Like a lot of times you'll be done, I'll be done, and it'll just fucking wait. No, I think I'm just taking longer than. Like you don't try so i you, totally try no the the way you're playing indicates otherwise really yeah does it yeah does it yeah you never know you never know you never know oh gosh that really sucks for you does it that's unfortunate that's real Push unfortunate possible uh, yikes Man, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. I would retreat, probably. Yeah, that's for babies. <coughs> that's for goddamn babies. Don't you know do I, anything? Do I look like a baby? I'm not a baby. <laughs> Stop calling me that. <laughs> There's Deadpool. Look at him up there. Oh, I like X-23. It's not over yet. <laughs> Jaffa, you have a play. What was it, Quinn? What was it, Quinn? This is prime entertainment. Oh, shut up, Kirkland Gray. Just, just, just old man gets beat senseless. <laughs> old man? Look, bitch, you and your 30 followers, you guys come at me. I'll make you some mac and cheese for your middle school lunch or whatever the fuck it is. Settle the fuck down. <laughs> How would Legion have won, uh, Quinn? Uh, I don't remember what the locations were. I don't remember what the locations were. Whatever. It's for babies. I'm looking on my baby Bumblebee. Won't Kirkland Gray be so proud of me? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, now I'll tell you. Uh, um. Uh, This is tough. Um... Oh, the right killed ongoing. I wasn't even paying attention. I'm talking. I had a very busy day. Kirkland's up with the sun. It's very early where he is in Ireland. Why do you? Okay. I don't know where you live. I don't want to dox you. So I'm going to say Ireland. That's fair. Yeah. Come on now. 
Okay. I've been at that. I've been at this game a long time, Kirk <clears throat> boy. I don't know anything about what I'm saying. Oh well, I'm afraid, Kirkland, this battle station will be quite operational <laughs> when your friends arrive. I'm afraid this battle station will be quite operational when your friends arrive. He was great until he appeared in the last fucking movie. So dumb. So dumb. Bum 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 bum. Yes, sir, Sam is. <laughs> Bring me a drink. What? I would love to just know what what goes on in your head. Not much. Yeah. <laughs> Not <laughs> Evidently. much. Evidently. You know, things happen. Mm. Um, in my brain pan. In my brain pan. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Kirky Kirk. Kirk Cameron. <coughs> Mr. Sandmando. Mr. Sandmando. Choto. Choto. Bring me the dream. Okay. Oh, fuck that. No piece of shit. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. All right, well, this, this has been fun. Yeah, it's bullshit. All right, let's talk. Let's talk about Snap. Um, <laughs> For hour two. Hopefully this is hopefully this is a different video. Well, we were uh, warming up, man. We got to warm up. We, we're, back to, we're back to Dave, Kirkland's screen now. David Jaffe here uh, will will actually do, do some editing and make this its own separate video. Well, I so. might. I might. You don't know. You don't know. It's possible. We, we, can, we can talk about some... Yeah, so let's talk about the new season. The new season is called Hero to Zero. It focuses put, on put Baron my, uh, Zemo, right? Focuses put, on uh, who else? Who else? Put the other thing up. Put what other thing up? Not my game screen. There you go. Yup. Look at her. Look at her. Good old Mockingbird. Cost one less. Cannonball I don't have yet. So yeah, uh, before we get to the new season, what, what did you think of the cards that came out over the last okay so shuffle what, the cost i never got pixie and i didn't even this is one of those rare cards that i didn't understand the what she does it says <laughs> shuffle the cost of all the cards in your deck that started there but does she get the cost of that like what no. what does that mean so what it's essentially doing is like if you have a bunch of ones and a bunch of sixes yeah in theory it could swap the ones cost with the six cost but it's completely random. So that's the whole thing with her. And and I don't really like random cards like like her or like Jubilee um, or other cards where it's just com it's a complete roulette wheel. So what she does is you play her on turn two or whenever you get her. And then like you have no idea what your deck looks like after that. So you're just going to be pulling cards with like random costs. So there's a fun, fun element there like where you could craft your your deck around anticipating like certain things to shuffle but the thing about shuffling is like if you have a bunch like that example that i gave if you have a bunch of ones and a bunch of sixes well the ones could just shuffle with each other and the sixes could just shuffle with each other so it's it's not necessarily going to be good i think there's too much of an element of randomness there do you think th is this a card that um go yeah, go back to pixie do you think this is a card that the band lmfao plays all the time I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to follow that. That I know there's a clever through line. All right, let's move on. What? It Thank you, Lou. Trying every day. Stuff. I'm shuffling. Every got, got it. Got it. Every day I'm shuffling. It took me a second. I yeah, was well, like, what my is brain's he? faster. Lutron. Thank you, buddy, for the membership gift. That's excellent. Thank you, pal. Appreciate it. All right, so you you won't shut up about how hot. Oh, she's so hot, and you know is. what? She's played on Shield by the girl who was in Friday Night Lights, um, Adrian Palicki. She's also in the uh, the the Orville, Mockingbird. Mar Mockingbird. Uh, Kirk's never coming back. He'll be back. They all come back. Because here's what you have to understand. 
I, she was in Friday Night Lights. Yeah, not the movie, the TV series. She was. Um, um, oh yeah, she she was she was very young. What was her name in that guy? Tara. Yeah, so that, Tara. Might, that might be insulting, but yeah, she 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 doesn't look quite the same. She's still incredibly beautiful, but um, yeah, she doesn't look quite the same as she used to. Well, you know, just people's facial features change and stuff. She's still very very attractive. Um, right. She also soaked seven. She was Wonder Woman in the pilot. That's right. But yeah, this card is like really freaking good. Um, Cost one less for each card you have in play that didn't start in your deck. So obviously. Uh, OK, so who does she pair with? Who like. Uh, so yeah, who, give me give me game screen. Of the game screen. OK, hang on. Hang on. So th there's a deck that I have been using with her that's a little bit, a um, little bit different. Uh, I don't think this is like normally like how people use her, but basically her whole deal is if you have a card in play that is not like one of your actual deck cards, then she goes down. So cards like Squirrel Girl, she's a, uh -huh. she's immediately down to a three. Yeah, so she's a three nine. That's crazy because you've got two of these on the board, and Bucky. Winter Soldier doesn't count. Yeah. Um, and Mysterio, he's he's got two that he can put on the board. So I was yeah. like, okay, what what do all the all three of these have in common? They clog up the board a lot. They're not really that useful. Um, and in the case of Bucky, you actually want to destroy him. So I was like, what if I can make a destroy deck where that's built around Mockingbird? Because destroy is really really strong. I don't know if you know. You probably get beat by destroy a lot, as does everybody, because it's just a really strong archetype. So I got this idea where you could use Mockingbird and you could use Death. And both of these are cards that scale downwards in terms of how much they cost. Right. And they're high power. And then if I can Moon Girl them, first of all, if I can Moon Girl any of these cards and play them, if you play the copies first, any of the Moon, like if, like if I Moon Girled Carnage or something, the copy of Carnage would take her down by cost, by one. So if I if I copy any of the cards, she goes down. So these two, Moon Girl and Mockingbird, really great synergy there, just in general. So she actually does well in like a, a Devil Dino. Oh yeah. Um, like you know, like your 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 Nick Fury. Um, give me a bunch of cards that I didn't start with, type of deal. Like she does very well in those decks too, like Collector. Um, you know, and all the Shield stuff that I I do like how in this game they kind of um. They do create synergy, like with the guardians, you know, all functioning in the same capacity or whatever. But I'm looking for my boy. Um, where is there? He is Agent Coulson. So the shield guys and gals, I should say, they all have synergy with each other. So he's giving you cards that if you play, she goes down. So that's another mm. deck that you can do with her. But I got the idea to do to Moon Girl. And so what what essentially ends up happening with this destroy deck is, you know, I play out the Squirrel Girl, I play out the Mysterio. I play out Bucky. I destroy some of those cards. So I get Death down and I get Mockingbird down. I play this Moon Girl at some point. And then I'm, sometimes I can actually play both Moon Girls and both Deaths because the cost is so far down that when I copy them, I can actually play both pairs. Or I can play you know one pair of one of them and one pair, or, or one pair of the other one. So this deck ended up being like really cool in that regard. But she goes very, very well again with... Um, like that whole sort of uh, adding cards to your deck that you know weren't there originally, and the the there's the whole shield uh, theming there, like with Maria Hill is another one. Uh, so you want you want these cards that give you random cards to your deck. Mirage is another one if I can find. I can and you find think her. she's a pretty strong deck? This deck, she's she's incredibly strong as a card. Like she's probably the best card. I would say that she's even better than um, Hope Summers because, again, literally all you have to do is play one card, Squirrel Girl or Mysterio, and you've got a 3-9 a now. I mean, that's the best three-cost card in the game, and all you have to do to unlock that is play one card. So she is incredibly strong, and if you get into, like, crazy decks where you're, like, copying her, like, that's probably the best deck is, like, a moon girl, you know, devil dino collector type deck. Um, 
where you're you're trying to get a bunch of cards in your hand, you're getting a bunch of copies, you're making collector shoot up. I don't know if you ever played like a collector style deck, but he just goes do 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 like when you play Nick Fury or one of those cards that like puts a bunch of cards in your hand. Snow Guard is another one. Um, and so she's going to function very, very well with those. Moon Girl also will shoot them up because it copies your whole hand. It duplicates it. So you get three, four extra cards in your hand that weren't there. So Collector goes up in power, and she goes down in power. So that whole archetype is super strong. I just wanted to try and do something different because, like like we were talking about earlier, I think it's very boring to just kind of do the samey stuff that like everybody else is going to do. But there's a reason that this she's a shield character and she functions, you know, very very well with the other shield cards, like your Agent Coulson and Nick Fury. So th they're sort of designed to work together in that way, and they do they do work together very very well. Um, now you you said that you don't have Cannonball. If you switch back over to the to the video, you said you don't have Cannonball. No. And so, yeah. Um, I don't have them either. And that's primarily, I'm going to assume, like, we both don't think this card is very good. I know. Well, I would like him, but I don't have him. I mean, it's not, that's not why I don't have him. But I don't think enemy, he's very good. Moving enemy card away from here and add a rock where it was. Um, if it can't move, destroy it to add the rock. That's pretty good. That's not a good. Well, it's expensive for that, but. It's a, it's a cool yeah, and color. I think they might have actually changed it to where I don't think you get the rock when it moves anymore. I think you only get the rock when it kills. So yeah. that significantly kind of changes it because it doesn't clog up the board as much anymore. Yeah. Um, if you do get the rock either way, that's a little bit better. But still, I mean, when, when we're talking about 5-8, um, you know, you played Gamora on me earlier. That's what a five twelve or something like that. Like there's there's significantly higher power five cost cards, and there's significantly better ability five cost cards, like an Iron Man that can double the power in your in, you know of your whole location. So, you know, for this one, I feel like just because like so the 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 sort of jackpot with this card, right, is that their whole board is filled up somehow, which is why debris is pictured here as like, a, like having some sort of synergy with it. Their whole board is filled up somehow and you're just going to annihilate their card and you don't, it doesn't have to be 10 power or over. Like, so Shang-Chi is limited in that way. This card isn't. Um, so this, this card will kill any card that is in a lane where the other two lanes are clogged up. But like, how many people are you going to be playing against? They're going to have their lanes clogged up. Like maybe if you paired him with, um, like a deck where you were using Green Goblin and Viper and uh, Hobgoblin, and you were sending a bunch of stuff. Debris is on there as well. You're sending a bunch of junk over there. But A, we both know, I think we both know, that when you play those type of decks, people tend to leave <laughs> before the game's over. They're like, screw this. I'm not doing this. You might know that from being on the other side, being the person that leaves, honestly, because uh, those decks are annoying. And also... Um, if, if you're just doing the move, it, I don't know, like you were playing Stegron on me earlier, but like, do you feel like Stegron is a really strong card or, I mean, I feel like it's a very technical, like situational type card just to move a card over. Like they still have the power, you know? So that's why something like Kingpin can help because it can take the power of that card down when you move it and it's disruptive. But I just feel like it's not, I feel like it, you don't have enough control there to really sort of put pieces together to have a winning strategy. Like, it's kind of just like, all right, get out of here. And it's like, did that really give you an advantage? You know, you can only really see after the fact. But, like, what do you think? Well, are you an AI? <laughs> that was so many words you used. Um, Okay. I, listen, uh, you play different than I do. I like the dinosaur because he <laughs> knocks people out of the way. <laughs> it's no, but that's, that that's super valid. It's not that I don't think about this. It's just that, you know, I think you have a special interest and it's this. Um, let's play another game and I'm going to show you my strongest deck and Quinn's going to help me. Okay. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Is it too hard? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not Kirkland, you have to all. understand, you have to give the audience what they want. And they don't want only your wisdom. They want a little shenanigans thrown in. Do you understand? Little shenanigans, pal. Here we go. One, one, six, eight, seven. Look at him board. Oh, oh, I got it. Yeah, I got to change my deck, though. I don't want this deck. Hang on. Let me do another one. Okie dokie. Play that Mockingbird deck. I want to see if I can beat the Mockingbird okay. deck. Um, here we go. Code's coming up. Uh, 12804. I think, Lutron, you're gaining intelligence. I think it's clear Kirkland is a serious mind. I don't think that's a bad thing. I just think that, it, you know, it's it's like chocolate and tuna fish, not chocolate and peanut butter. That's not a bad thing either. It's not a bad thing either. Might be. I'm going to focus, though, guys. I'm going to try to beat him. I'm going to try to beat him. Here we go. Shitty negative zone. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I got him, boys. Why'd you quit? I didn't I didn't like the negative zone. I didn't quit. Oh yeah. All right. That is a thing you can do. Yeah, no, you can retreat, but that's not fun. There's no drama in it. I like the drama, Kirkland. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, I don't have cards to play into Hulk. It's like you're a baby. You got to be the Hulk, Kirkland, and you turned it down. They is was it true that the Uncle Ben cards are real thing or no? I have no idea what you're talking about. Uncle Ben was a card when the game first came out of beta, and there's a piece of art for it, like on Snap Zone and stuff, where it was if you play him and he dies, you get an automatic Spider Man. And I was just like, that's fucking that's awesome. Not real. You can know. see the art. I mean, it's 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 you know. It says it's unreleased. I don't know if I have no idea. Okay. Little squirrel lady. Hello, little squirrel girl. It's nice to meet you. I like the squirrel girl card when she's in the kitchen bacon. And cooking cakes and things. That's a good one. There's a sentry like that, too. You got War Machine, Yusuf? Yeah, uh, Kirkland's got the War Machine, actually. But uh, I haven't gotten him yet. I have not achieved the War Machine yet, though. Yet, though, yet, though, yet, though. There once was a lady. <laughs> Shh, Kirkland, I'm focusing. Clearly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Hmm. Hey. interested what your deck is because based on red skull 
Viper and Scar. Oh, this must be a um, Sentry deck, but I don't think you have a Nihilus, though. I don't think you have a Nihilus. Dum to dum. Yeah, I don't think you can compete with this. Yep, no. Definitely not. Oh, I never snapped. What? That's pretty wild. I assumed that I had. I mean, you should retreat, for sure. Like, 100%. There is no world in which you should not retreat. I do not think this is winnable for you. Mm. I guess Shang-Chi play right if you have him. That's it. That was smart. You know what, chat? There are games out there that are not just shoot, shoot, shoot. I'm saying. This is one of those games. This is a smart, fun game. I still I still think that the talking was better than absolute silence. But, you know, however Dude, you want to run your stuff. I know. I know. I run my stuff like a drunk toddler at daycare. That's how I do it. Like the like the toddler got into the mama's whiskey and she didn't know it. Good week. And she didn't know it. And then the baby goes to the daycare and it's drunk and it's going around bossing everybody around. Like, I'm a baby. You do what I tell you. Right? That's how I yeah. do it. I think that's how I, I do you, it. I think you just handled the sweet baby stuff like a pro. So I was like, going Oh, that was that. so stupid. Sweet baby. People are idiots, though. We'll talk about that. What do you mean? Handle it like a pro. It's dumb. People are idiots. They don't, they don't know how the industry works. They act like Sweet Baby Inc.'s got power. It's so fucking stupid. So fucking dumb. They don't have any power. They're a consultancy firm. You think Ted Price like, I can't make a move without Sweet Baby telling me what to do. Come on now. Come on now, Kirkland. It's not the way the world works. Thank you very much. Why do I follow Mark Kern? Who the fuck cares? I, I, cause I had him on the stream once, and I had to send him a DM for a link. Why do you worry about who I follow? It's like I, that, even that drives me nuts. It's like I, you know. I, I, somewhere along the line, some generation got communicated with that said, uh, you can only like people that agree with everything you say. And I don't know where that came from, but I don't like it. You understand? I don't like it. Um, you know, so. Hmm. What do you want? Playing the roulette wheel there. You got damn right. Didn't pay off, but you got damn no, right. No, not at all. Um, not at all. Yeah, things happen. Things happen for a reason. I don't know. I don't know what the reason is. <laughs> but uh, they do occur for the reasons. Dang, you still have eight power over there? Jesus. How do you know what I got over here? What do you mean? No, I mean like 10. Yeah, that, that equals 8. That's surprising. Just because you done gone to fancy pants law school, that don't mean you know nothing. <laughs> I got them, boys! Um, <coughs> I mean, look. 
look. You should, you should retreat again. Nah, I don't really care. Oh, that's abundantly clear. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well then. Can't win another lane though. No. 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 Hey, I got a card. All right, Kirkland. Let's let, let, let's have a conversation. Now, this clearly has not gone the way you saw it going. And that's unfortunate because I like people to come on the show and have a good time. What's the problem, sir? What you what, 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 what did did you not vet me? Do you not know that there are days where you're going to get this and there are days where you're going to get me very focused? What do you mean I handled Sweet Baby? Let's talk about that. That's more fun. Why did I handle Sweet Baby Ink poorly? Talk to me. Fuck snap. You're great. Poor, you no, I, I I didn't say poorly. I said I said you handled it well. Yeah, but you're being sarcastic. I could tell. No, I wasn't. I wasn't mm. at all. Let's talk I, about. I was that. being. I was being, um, what's the word? I, I was, I was, uh, being playfully, uh, critical based. Like I was saying like, oh, well, I must've inferred that you were, um, you know, some sort of savant, I suppose, based on how you handled, how well you handled that. Uh, cause I did think, I did think you handled it very, very well. I thought. I thought Alex looks like he was he was o overreaching. Okay. Hey, fellas, check it out. I won. That's how you do it. You fucking rope a dope him. I won. Nice. Now we're done. We're done with this. Let's talk though, Kirkland. Let's talk. That's what I like to do. I don't want to. I don't want to get all fancy. I want to talk. Let you and me talk, pal. How about that? That was the plan originally. We never yeah, even but got, then, we know, never even got to Zemo. Yeah, uh, fuck that. I don't care about talking about that. Let's talk about just stuff. Let's talk about life. Yeah. Let's let's have a free chat. Cause it's too late in the day to be uh, serious now. I think things have gone things have gone way too round the bend, sir. They've gone way too round the bend, <laughs> and because of that, uh, let's bring you on here. Let's bring on. Uh, let's get Kirkland up here so we can share the screen as pals do. There we go. Now this is this this is what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Kirkland is wearing a Winter Soldier shirt, you guys. Uh, is that leather or it just looks like leather? It's definitely not leather. But it's not. Is it's it what kind of material? Polyester or something. Oh, okay. Is he your favorite character? Hello, no rain. No, I just happen to have it. Mm. I do wear it when I stream Snap, but um, I have like a mask too. It's kind of. What is your goal with this streaming nonsense? What do you want? What do you want to be? What do you, is it, would you like to be able to quit the lawyering and do this full time? No. Um, I mean, if if I can be totally honest, I really like getting game keys, and I like doing reviews as well. Like I like LARPing, like I'm a games journalist and and do coverage. And in some aspects, I'm not LARPing, and I'm I'm actually doing real coverage, like good coverage. Like some of my videos have done really really well, and so that's really really cool to see. Like, you know, what I can do with my laptop that was made in 2013 with, you know, old editing software. You know publish something and it gets 30,000 views. Like that's really awesome. And, what have and, you published uh, lately that you like that if people went to your channel to get a, a, a taste of Kirkland, what would that uh, be? I have a, I have a rise of the Ronin guide that I published today, uh, which mm. I'm really, really proud of. And did well, as or is, as, is it doing well tracking so far? Just, just published today. So um, I've asked a lot of, you know, friends and, and co-creators like, Hey, if you can push this, it'd be really great. Cause I think my channel has been, um, on some kind of like, you know, soft blacklist since I did my Suicide Squad review because suicide's in the title. Um, and with my, I worried so about small, that. I liked yeah. that game actually quite a bit, but I was like nervous about thumbnails with it because, but I, then I looked around at a lot of other people and they were, we can talk it. about that, David. I mean, it's in theme, it's just DC. So, the, you know, you played the, the DC other... card game, did you? No, but terrible, uh, terrible. Uh, it's on the other side of the aisle, comic book wise. How, how do you feel about this this DLC that is dropping? Literally, oh, I'm not going to play it. Now, I, think. I have no interest in it. I mean, I listen. I genuinely enjoyed Suicide Squad, and I got to the very end, and I could not finish it because there was that. Uh, because it, you, you you basically can't save before Brainiac, right? You have to save three missions before Brainiac. They're short missions, but it adds up, especially given how long Brainiac takes to fight. So I says uh, to the game, and, and because it's an online game, you can't put it like in pause and come back two days later 
it'll boot you out and you got to start all over. So after trying to take down Brainiac and coming terribly close numerous times, I just haven't had the, the, the desire uh, to go back. Um, yeah. Did you find Brainiac troubling or maybe I just didn't level up the right weapons? I don't fucking know, but I couldn't beat him. No, not troubling, just boring because it's the same fight as the Flash. But mm, mm. Um, I also had all, like all the deluxe edition weapons or whatever that like set people on fire. So, oh, I turned all those off. I got those as well so I could play it early, but then it felt like cheating. So I was like, I don't want to, I don't want to use those. Yeah, dude, I was trying to review it, so I was like, yeah, I, I have, I have a review of that on my channel as well, um, and I will actually be doing a written review that'll go on uh, like Open Critic and stuff. So that's cool. Uh, did I'm you did you not like it or you did like it you sound like you didn't like i didn't it. like it i gave it a six um mm -hmm. i mean like yeah exactly like it's middling there were aspects of it that i liked i think like uh harley quinn sort of won me over like i was sort of endeared to that character i thought the other characters uh shark is just gen generally enjoyable right but i thought the the other two characters were were um deadshot is mildly grating with his lack of personality and boomerang to me is like excruciating with his, you you uh, will not be surprised to learn that that's the character i love the most and played the most <laughs> yeah boomerang because is he, awful boomerang because is his motion is great though. voice acted yeah, yeah oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, the well, navigation all, yeah. of that character. gameplay wise he's fantastic yeah, yeah. so a hundred percent yeah the teleportation mechanic is probably one of the coolest that's like the only traversal that's really actually cool like out i of all think it's of so them. cool that it could support its own game not the character boomerang man or whatever captain boomerang honestly but... honestly if rocksteady had not if this had not been their main game and they'd done this as more of like a miles morales like smaller type of thing and they hadn't devoted like nine years or however long they put into this thing yeah and they just made sunset overdrive but it was the adventures if it was called the adventures of captain boomerang and it was just a goofy like oh the flash is out to get me like whatever you're just doing hijinks and dumb stuff and he's got dumb lines or whatever i think people would have enjoyed that like if it was this smaller thing and it was just him and you had the traversal mechanics i think people would have liked it uh it's just all the extra bull crap that's, yeah, but uh, I think Suicide Squad suffered from one of the things you were talking about at the top of this very fine show where there is sort of a uh, a zeitgeisty uh, order of talking points that go out and say, you're supposed to hate this, you're supposed to like this. Um, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that people who liked it or didn't like it weren't capable of making their own decisions. But I do think, uh, like if you go to Steam right now, Suicide Squad is sitting at, I think, very positive um i think the There's people who no way that's right go go look i'll look right now um i think a lot of the people who played it genuinely are like no it's a pretty good game i mean it's not the world's best game but it was a lot of fun probably like worth 70 bucks suicide squad kill the justice league is currently sitting on the steam page let's see maybe i'm wrong i'm even not permitted this view Oh, now it says mixed. It was all reviews are mostly positive, but at the moment it says mixed for some reason. I'm not sure what, uh, what dropped it, but it, it's been overall, it's mostly positive. So, um, sweet baby ink probably dropped it. I don't even get, yeah, well, I mean, that's bullshit. Are you, what is your take on sweet baby ink? We haven't talked about that. Let's do that. Your ADHD is fuck. Aren't you? It's not fucked. It's that I just, you know, want to be engaged with things and that's interesting to me <laughs> sure um what what my, what's my, the problem pal what's the problem with this my, what, my what, take what? on that is i mean i think that i think that you were right i think that it's it's a big uh it's just it's just outraged culture right like people want to be angry about something Gives right. them something to be impassioned about, you know, like, oh, they're taking our games away, you know. But whatever. right, so you agree that there's no fire there. Or if there is, just don't play the game. Like whatever. Well, that's true as well. Like the thing okay. that I keep waiting on, and maybe you would know this, um, you know, I think it was The Verge or one of those uh companies sites did a, a story on all this. Kotaku. And I no, no, it was a it was kind of out of the out of the core gamer world. Um so I think it was Verge and they wrote about it um, and they did write about the Kotaku stuff, but it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. 
But what I keep waiting on is one of these journalists to actually let us know, because the claim that gets made, and maybe this is true, I do believe that I, and I know that like companies like BlackRock will put you on their investment sheet, blah, blah, blah. If you have a certain score, fine. But what I don't know is the companies that are being accused, like they throw Insomniac in this all the time. I, maybe Sony has, has, has signed a deal like that. Um, or, you know, it, it's almost like they want to make this blanket statement, but it's like, okay, wait. So if Sony only gets investment score that will make BlackRock happy, if they acquiesce and thus they hire uh, companies like Sweet Baby, so Insomniac will do these things, then are they going to lose the score because they're putting out a game like Stellar Blade? Like, it's like, there's no real logic there. Um, well, even even let's let's concede all that and let's say yeah that they have to be they have to put out an incredibly woke game or they have to present an early build of an incredibly woke game whatever that actually means woke doesn't have any definition at this mm -hmm. point by the way not not a real tangible one that somebody can actually flesh out with consistent parameters it's just whatever yeah. it needs to be whenever anybody's pointing at something and says hey that's woke it is because that's all like that's all it is it doesn't have a, a clear consistent definition sure. now there's things that people are put synonymous with it that do but that could that's subject to change um but yeah like uh, even if that was the case and they had to like make this very liberal progressive idea idea pushing you know everybody's gay or i don't know whatever <laughs> whatever it is you know to get this money like they're private investors like i don't understand this mentality of like why do you think they're entitled to that money like if those people that have this firm with all this money to throw out are incredibly liberal and progressive and they want everything to be gay or whatever it is that's their money like what sure. do you mean they can't tell everybody hey if you want my money you got to make everything gay they, well, they can do that it's their course. money that's that doesn't, right so i don't understand well, like you can but, be mad that they exist. Like let's let's say that that's actually how it works. I'm not saying that it is, but let's. Well, that's, let's but the isn't sake that a big argument. problem though that we can't get a journalist to actually explain how it works? Because they did, of it, but then they came out and said that you can't be racist against white people, so they just derailed every. You every can't be racist against white did. people if you use a specific definition of racist. If you use a, a, a def, it's just like feminist. I used to always say to people, "I'm a feminist," and they're like, "Well, no, you're not a third generation feminist. You're using the definition from the '70s." And I'm like, "Jesus fucking Christ!" But it's there the same is with not the, systematic there is. racism against white people. There is not indoctrinated systematic racism. There is a, yes, that's level, right. And there is a definition of a racism that says people. that racism is when you, you, uh, uh, a group in power uses their power to, uh, continually that's dumb, though, Cause that's, that's, that's institutional not, racism. Like there's, a, I, I, there's already qualifiers for that's that. That's fine. But that is a definition that you can look up and see is racism. And in that it's accurate. In the rate in the definition most people use that they think everyone uses, which they don't, which maybe they should, but they don't, is you're someone who doesn't like someone because of their race. And in that, of course, white people can be racist. I think but, equating things with other things in a way that is disruptive and inherently inaccurate is not appropriate. Do that again. I think equating things that are not the same. And by doing so, you're inherently disruptive or inaccurate, especially when you're a reporter, is not a, is not a, a appropriate. It's not okay. Oh yeah, I would agree that if you're writing like for Kotaku, like I mean, when I say I'm racist because I'm white, um, and I'm an American, I make sure to be clear. I'm talking about a specific definition of racism, right? If you're writing for Kotaku and you just throw that out there and you don't explain this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. I think that's negligence for sure. Quinn says the majority can't be oppressed by the minority though. Right. But that doesn't necessarily, yeah, of course. Um, but anyway, yes, I would say to you though, the fact that you have to say if that's even happening is really troubling because there is a narrative out there that this is just sort of what's happening. And even though I agree with you, it should be, it's a private company. They can do whatever the fuck they want, but how is Sony engaged in this? And if they are, how do they get away with certain games that clearly run afoul of that DEI mentality? I don't think people care about if, if 
the way that it's happening. Like they don't care about how the sausage gets made. They see the games come out. They don't like the games. They they see stuff in the games. They don't like the stuff in the games. Like they think the games are woke because woke again is completely subjective. It's open to interpretation. If you don't like it, if it's different than your value set, if it's pushing progressive ideas on people and their identities and their sexualities and whatever that is inherently uncomfortable or against the grain, then it can be easily pointed out and defined as woke. People are seeing that in games. They don't care how it gets there. They just don't want it there. And they don't want restrictions on things that are like, you know, ass and tits, basically. They don't want Xbox to say, oh, we don't see a need for that in our games because they want that in their games because that's that's what they've had in games. Like we had games like Lollipop Chainsaw and Bayonetta. And I mean, Bayonetta is very empowering. So I think if you're, if that's all you're getting out of Bayonetta, then you're an idiot. But like, it's very empowering for, for women and, and, and it's like female agency. Like she doesn't have a man that, she, that helps her do every, like she's a powerful Sure. But Lollipop Chainsaw is a, uh, is a good, you know, and they're they're yeah. doing a remake. I mean, yeah, Se sex sexualization the games of, of women in games is is fairly common. Um, and the games aren't going anywhere. It's like I'm sorry, yeah, I, mean, you know, I have pronouns in my bio. Like I do too. Um, because like, it's, it's, it's just out of respect. Yeah, exactly. Like I people that fawn over that type of stuff. Like, do you not realize that there's people out there? They just don't care. Like, there's people out there that genuinely feel uncomfortable with who they are. Because, you know, I don't know, they have, you know, there might be a man born a man and they have very effeminate features or, you know, mentally they just don't feel like they're in the right space for like what society is telling them, you know, they're supposed to be masculine or they're supposed to be feminine or like whatever it is. And it doesn't sit right for them. They feel uncomfortable. They feel uncomfortable in certain clothes. They feel uncomfortable with certain societal norms. And so when somebody refers to them as a he or a him, or they refer to them as a she or a, or, or a her, like it feels limiting. It feels encroaching. It's a reminder to them of they're trapped in this space where they can only be one thing that's already been defined for them that they don't feel uncomfortable with. And so, like, literally all these people are saying is, hey, I'd like to be referred to as they, them. Like, what well, I get it. If they want to be referred to as Xenosaur 3000 or whatever, then, yeah, you can laugh them out of the room. But if they're just saying, like, hey, they, them makes it to where it's, like, open to interpretation, I don't really have to think about it. I don't face this point of anxiety or conflict whenever somebody says, oh, he's going to the restaurant after with us. Like, that in conversation is maybe going to affect this person because it's like, oh, it's jarring to them because of this conflict that they're going through. And people just don't care about that. They're just like, yeah, fuck that person. They should get over it. Like, why are you like that? Like, if you're that type of person, if you're like, yeah, fuck that person, they should grow up hair and not have mental problems. Okay, like, but like, let's answer yeah. that question. Because I agree with you, by the way. I, I absolutely agree with you. Um, th But it's like, why do you think, wh where do you think it comes from? Because like, so there's a guy in the chat, CR3D, who is, uh, you know, his whole thing is, well, it's about money. And if you have money, it's easy to say that. But if you're being denied opportunity because of all this quote wokeness, that's where he takes issue. And I can understand if that is how it's been sold to him. Um, and he thinks that, but, but, but what I would, I, what I would argue is even if that is the case and let's say it is, I'm not, I'm not saying he's lying. He's got his lived experience, but even if that's the case, it's like part of me wants to say, do you realize how long women and gay people and black people and Muslims have been ha had to wake up and go, well, this isn't fair. And now, oh, boo hoo, you're getting a little bit of the same medicine and you're like, the world is falling apart. They've been dealing with it forever. Yeah, but I mean, they, they, don't want, they don't want to be on the other end of that. That's why it, that's why it happened in the first place. Well, yeah, we but it's like, you know, we subjugated Jesus. other people because it was convenient and beneficial. So people want it to continue to be convenient and beneficial. They don't want everything to become Asian or black or gay or whatever. Keep our movies the same. Keep our games the same. Get that shit out of here. Like that's how. And what I would say to those people, though, about the games is then get educated, learn to code, learn to design, learn to create AI art because that's where we're going. No, they um, just sit and go back and make your consumer. own fucking video games. They just want to sit back and be a consumer and for them to get fed. It's like it's like if your if your favorite restaurant changed their entire menu and now they only serve, you know, I don't know, uh 
organic, you know, vegan food or whatever. You'd be pissed. So I, I get it. But it's like sure, but... there's a there's a societal progressive reason for it. But people just don't support that. So they don't care. They just want what they want. And they're mad at change. And they're but mad it, at... what what makes them not have the, the ability or desire to look at it from that perspective? I, I There's a great quote that I heard from one of my more liberal friends in college that I'll always remember, which is just, um, it wasn't directed at me. It was directed at like the collective you, but it was, I don't know how to, um, tell you to, that you should care about other people. Like, I don't know how to convince you that you should care about other people. If you don't care about other people, I, I don't know how I can tell you that you should. Um, and it's always sat with me because it's so true. Like, if you just don't care, there's you think no it's just the way people are raised or they've had experience? I mean, look, I don't think CR3D in the chat's a bad guy at all. But clearly he feels that the, the world, I mean, I'm, I'm psychoanalyzing him, but I've seen enough of his comments. It seems that it's clear he feels that the world has kind of given him a bad hand and it's things are not fair. And I get yeah, that that think... sucks, but isn't there a point where you have to kind of go, well, this is the, this is the bag of hammers I got. Everybody's got one. I think there's a lot of poor white people, and I feel like I can say that because I, I kind of am one. Um, I, I'm much more privileged than a lot of people are. I mean, I own a PS5. Um, yeah, well, you wait until this show, you know, kicks off. You're going to be famous, baby. You don't know how okay. good this has been for you. Yeah, I, I really don't. No, um, you don't, but you will. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I'm privileged enough in, in, a, in a lot of respects, but, um, I feel like I can say, I mean, I grew up with a single mother and not a great neighborhood. And so, I mean, I have had both types of experiences, I mean, but I've also been to law school. So, you know, but that tons of depth from that. So it's both sides of the, of, of the coin, but there's a lot of people that grew up poor and they're not a minority and they feel like they've experienced a, you know, challenging life. And nobody's looking at them and saying that they're underprivileged or anything like it's just presumed that they you know have all these advantages or whatever because they're white because and a lot of do. white people a lot of white people do have advantages well that's that's where you, you lose, have... that's where that's where you lose those people right but there. they're they, but they're, they do they do it doesn't but th th why can't they no. understand they sure no. they do if you take a black guy and a white guy in the exact same shitty job, shitty town, shitty neighborhood, and they live right next door to each other. And the only thing difference is their skin tone. They are both going to have a shitty life, but yes. the black guy is going to have more challenges than the white guy in America. I think that's a, that's a perversion of that idea. Like, I don't think that that's your, if you ran that as a simulation, it wouldn't be accurate. Really? So you think statistically speaking, a black man in America and a white man in America on the whole experience the same level of trouble no, because see, of the now, way they look see now you're you're running with it in a totally different i'm asking direction. you that's it, to I, me that sounded no. like that's what you were saying that, well, that you're wrong okay what, that's what why i'm I saying posed it as a question minority people who are minorities have a much higher propensity to face challenging circumstances okay however there is a small sect of non-minority people white people it's a small percentage of white people that face just as challenging of circumstances as minorities. It's the they face the exact amount of now across minorities. It would be like if this is the chunk of minorities, it's like this big of a chunk. Like it's a lot of the minorities have this challenge because they're they're not privileged and they're marginalized. For the white people, it's like this many people. Right? Okay, like it's not, but. The pervert where these people get lost by you and, and others is you're saying, oh, well, you small people, small sect of people that have it hard. You still ha that's what you just said. You still have it better than all the black people and all the Asian people and all the marginalized people because you're white. I it's didn't say accurate. I but I didn't say you still have it better. I said if you were the exact same person, basically. And the only and living in a shit experience, and the only difference was skin tone. You yeah. would both still have a shit time, but yes. the black guy would have more challenges in America than the white guy. It didn't. I think he, you're, the, you're lit, we're literally just saying the same thing. I don't know how you don't see that. Well, I'm. If we're why saying would, the same thing, why would they thing, have a harder time? Like if 
a white okay, person can he, have just as shitty of a time as a marginalized person. It is if, possible. It is less likely to happen. Like <laughs> the majority of white people will. Are be there? More are, are, what you're saying is, can there be a white person who has had a worse experience living in America than a black person? Of course. I don't okay. think anyone's suggesting that. I think you are literally saying that. Yeah. No, I did not. What I said is if they, if it's exactly equal, if the white guy's life, white, white life and the black guy's life is basically the same, the challenges and all of that stuff, the work, the money, all that, the, the level of like, shit, this is tough is the same. The black guys in America is probably higher not, what, is the, but, what is the point of demonstrate? Like, what is the point of that premise? Like, what are you trying to demonstrate? But what I'm well, a because it's simply true, uh, and it's you know not worth not sharing things that are true. But beyond that, um, it allows the people who don't believe in things like systemic racism to go, oh, it is a thing, right? L l let's put it this way: if you if you live next door to a black version of you, right? And everything was the same. The prediction of the future, your talent, your DNA, financial situation. Would you trade places with him if the only thing that changed was your skin color? The chat must not understand what I'm saying. Like, I well, I'm asking you. I 100% believe that, mar like, I, I'm very liberal. I think that marginalized people are, are incredibly underprivileged. Like all, all I'm trying to explain is why you lose people that don't think like us. Oh, I know. I understand. Cause they I don't, th I don't think chat understands, which is making me get un uncomfortable with discussing the topic. Cause they think I'm like trying to say that privilege doesn't exist or something like that. A hundred percent. I think that marginalized people have a much more challenging life. I mean, that's the nature of being marginalized, which is why I think that representation and stuff like video games and, and film and stuff is in incredibly appropriate and good. Um, we should have more uh, minority actors in films and stuff. Like people are mad that like, oh, all the all the Oscars and the Golden Globes are going to you know films that were had actors and directors that are minorities. Like, yeah, because like they've always gone to white people. Like, do you not understand the disparity there? Of like, it's not like people just perceive it as like, oh, it's overcorrective. It's like no, I like the like fact that they're complaining like the Oscars have ever been anything but a marketing ploy anyway. It's like the Oscars is not like some kind of Ten Commandments from God of what the best movie is. It's it's marketed and it's it's campaigned so that they can make another hundred million back in the day at the box office. But I see your point and I I agree. I agree. Listen to this guy. The Achievius says Jaffe, and this goes to Kirkland too. Uh, do you believe in the pull yourself up by your bootstraps mentality? I absolutely do, but I also believe that not everyone has the same bootstraps. And, yeah. you, you know, all you have to do is look at there's a there, I, there's a video that's very tropey at this point, but I'm sure you've all seen it where uh, they do an experiment with a bunch of people in a field and they say, OK, we want there's 100 bucks at the end of the field um, and whoever can race there and get it gets the 100 bucks. But then they say, before you go, anyone who's ever gone to bed hungry, take a step back from the starting line. Anyone who's ever been called this, take a step. You know, it's basically showing privilege. And then lo and behold, at the front, it's a bunch of white dudes um, and all the women and black dudes and whatever are, are further back. And it doesn't mean that white people are bad. It just means that, hey, this is kind of the culture we've built and maybe we should make it better. I think just in general too, like there are a lot of white people out there that don't just have an easy life just because they're white. And so, of course, who says that? No, nobody. No, right. But they are not super empathetic to. And I don't mean to generalize. There are people that are not empathetic to the hardships that are accompanied by institutional and systemic oppression and disadvantages because they have their own disadvantages. And so, like, nobody, it's, it takes a very. It takes a lot of reflection and a lot of awareness to like look at the bigger picture and be like, yes, I've suffered and I've faced hardships and challenges in my life, which is the center of my universe, right? My life, my hardships. If I if I don't have enough money to pay my rent, whatever, that's that is everything 
to me. You know, everything else is ancillary, doesn't matter as much. I'm very self-interested as a human being. It's just natural. There's a lot of people who don't have the the peripheral awareness to look beyond that and be like, oh, but there's there are actually people who have it much worse than me. And well, okay, so my question to you about that is do you think that is just literally a brain thing? They were born with the ability to do XYZ when I wasn't. But I could, I, I am more of a self-reflective person maybe than they are. Or do you think it's a learned thing, an education thing? Like where does it come no from? I have no idea. I'm totally underqualified to answer that question. I, I would love no to idea. know because maybe it's like it's a waste of time to argue with people about it. Because if it's like, so. dude, they just can't, they, they're never going to, just like you can't teach me snap. Because I love it, but I'm never going to really see the numbers the way you guys see the numbers. You and, uh, and you also guy? don't care. Like what I've gathered. I from, care, but no, I don't what, what care. What I've gathered from doing this live from you is like you, you don't care. Like you about, don't what, care what, what, about. What don't I care? You don't care about Snap in a way that you would want to devote time and effort to discussing like particulars of the game. Like it, it's not. That's that's droll and like uneventful to you. Yeah, so, I, like, I I I think I find them interesting if someone's sharing them with me. Like I genuinely found your analysis of Warbird um, compelling. Um, but my brain would never have sat down and I mean I I'm capable of it I imagine, but my brain would have never sat down and gone, how do I make them? How do I squeeze the most juice out of this card? Um, I would have just been like, she's pretty. I like her. Let me put her with, Oh, that worked. Okay. I'll keep doing that until it stops working. Um, that doesn't mean I don't love snap, but I, I'm much more of a casual player compared to you for sure. Right. So it's the same thing, right? Like if you have video game and video game has sexy lady with sword, mm -hmm. I like sexy lady with sword. I play video game with sexy lady with sword. If you have a video game that makes you understand the hardships that marginalize people or people with a different sexual orientation than you through good storytelling and writing. You're like, why no sexy lady with sword? I'm bored now. This is dumb. Do you it think that's be... how I think about video games? No, I think that I'm, I'm comparing the, the lack of I'm, I'm, this isn't compelling to me. I want to, I want to move on. Like it's, it's, it's that you're asking me to explain how these people's brain works. So I am relating it to something that you actually okay. experience. Like, you're like, mm, I want to see Sexy Lady, or I want to, like, oh, Cannonball, he, I don't care if he good or not, he moved card, I like see card move, like, it's, right. you know, that's what you care about, so people are like, I like when Kratos is like, oh, everybody should die, and I'm gonna bang ladies, ah, oh, bang ladies, like, you know, whatever, they like that. Maybe mm -hmm. they don't like that Kratos is like, you know, oh, I'm struggling with being a parent. And like, what? Like, they're like, get this crap out of here. Or they yeah. don't care that. And and I'm in this camp, too. I didn't like that The Last of Us 2 was like very like pandery, like, oh, violence is bad. And we're going to take you on a however many 20 plus hour long journey to convince you. Yeah, we know violence and revenge are bad, Naughty Dog. Thank you for uh, this incredibly well-crafted story. That's a waste of like, it's like, now we got to show you that just because somebody that you really care about is murdered doesn't mean that you can go on a murder spree and kill everybody that was involved. Like, yeah, no shit. Like I went to kindergarten. Like, what are we fucking doing here? So like, I, like, I get it. There, the, the, there's a, it's a, it's a further extension of that. Like people don't like, you know, oh, why is this like getting heavy handed about you know, this one character is super alternative and, and liberal or whatever, you know, it's focusing too much on the fact that this character is, of you know, um, you know, they're of Latin American or, or, or Mexican heritage or like whatever. Like, why is this such a focal point? I just want I just want to play the video game. I just want to do, you know, hi-fi rush or strum the guitar, bonk people on the head, like video game but video game type stuff like just get in. i'm mario i'm jumping on koopas you know that's what people want i guess and they don't really appreciate the fact that like games have become much more of art and a lot of dev time a lot of effort a lot of carefully planned calculation of thousands upon millions of dollars being invested into these games is devoted to that side of gaming which is the, the the artfulness and the storytelling and and some of those projects have been massively successful sometimes that's what puts an indie over the edge sometimes it's super great gameplay like a vampire survivors or a Bellatro, but sometimes it's about the impact and the and the story and the message is being told vimba cleaned up 
at the GDC Awards. Absolutely cleaned up. I think it the won like, Best game? in Show. Yeah, because no. it's about first generation immigrants and and the struggle of being basically indoctrinated and pressured to suppress your own heritage to where that you would not even really want to adopt things from your parents being from another country and another heritage you're like no i just want to become americanized i don't want any of that because i'm getting made fun of at school for having weird smelling food and looking different and talking different like i don't want to learn hindi i don't want to do any of that. like and then him coming of age and becoming an adult and being like oh man i, I really kind of wish i'd been more in touch with that like i want to rekindle that relationship with my parents learn more about you know our country of origin and stuff like that and so kind of that full circle that's what that game's about but I think there's a lot of people that don't don't care about that, don't appreciate that. And so if you take that and put it on a larger scale of like a triple A box office game that is like developed in that type of way to like articulate that type of message or tell that type of story about something that people just don't care about. Like I sit here and talk about for, you know, basically three to five actual real life minutes about a Marvel Snap card and and something that like people will definitely sit down and listen to. Cozy Snap or Alex Kocha like talk about these cards because they have incredible insight and stuff about this stuff. And there's the game is so nuanced and in depth. You're like, ah, I don't care. Let's play a game. That's how people are approaching the art of games. And so like when they're figuring out that there's actual firms out there that are lobbying to try to change get to move games more away from haha, sexy lady with sword, I kill all the dudes, to why are you articulating some sort of narrative about marginalized people and you know, what it's like to be a trans person. I don't care about that. I don't want that in my video games. They're just like, get that out of here. And people want what they want, and they're spoiled oh, little hang babies. On, yeah, it's hang funny. On. So they're probably not coming, right? Mom? No. The, the... No, tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no, no. It's funny. I don't know if this is why they're called Sweet Baby, but that GDC conference that everybody clipped and took out of context where she was like, you've got to yeah, terrify yeah. them with a PR nightmare, which is literally just her saying, hey, persuade them of your value that you can circumvent or mitigate a big snafu where people on the internet are like your game is politically incorrect your game is 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 insensitive to marginalized people have us come in and consult and protect you from that that's all she was saying she wasn't saying like uh you know force them to do anything they don't want to do it's like well no i mean she she was she was grandstanding and she was basically on stage and enjoying the limelight and she was making kind of a joke and and i recognize it as such because i think most people that have ever stood up and given a speech or been on a panel you kind of blow smoke up your own butt for the entertainment well, it's, like ner it's nerdy talk for other nerds too. right like, it's like but hey I, you but guys I are gonna if, try to do this it literally yeah. just you know scare them a little bit like that's something that but that's work. i mean if that's politics and of work of course if you want what you want you're gonna try to get it but um do you think but, honestly sony marketing is like oh, i didn't know nothing Thank God the, the same, sweet baby ain't came the over the same and conference, get in, in trouble. the same speech, she talked about how basically white male gamers are spoiled babies. And they just want it's so ironic that nobody a lot of them are. watched that part of the of the conference where they're like, I get, I want the same food. I want you to spoon feed it to me over and over and over again. I want my Call of Duty. I want my whatever. And they don't want Vimba and they don't want these other games and that's a generalization i want it you probably want it people in chat might want it we're, we're just talking about the people out there that are that are against this type of stuff um i'm not trying to box anyone into anything tons of people are different have different opinions nobody is in a certain category by default um but she's identifying them as white males and people can get upset about that but i would say the majority of them probably are um and yeah, like she's kind of right. Like whether they're white, whether they're male, whatever, there is a sect of people out there that just want their games to stay the same and they don't want people to put art and messaging and tell a story and, and convey human experience of, of about people that you don't necessarily, you haven't stepped into their shoes. You don't know what that's like. Like Vimba taught me things about the lived experience of a first Im generation immigrant and a, and a family that has, has immigrated here. Like that I didn't know before playing that game. I think that's cool. Other think people think that's annoying and they want to move on to playing the snap game because they don't care. But and what I don't know, what, what I don't get though is I I have the full awareness that there's lots of other games that I can play. I mean, where where did these guys get or girls or whoever is saying it get the idea that just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's bad or it just you know, there's a lot of things that i don't they're like they're small babies they want all but how, they I mean, want everything to be to their taste 
so you're just you're just suggesting that it's they're just not bright enough to recognize that mm. there's still games for me to play. I don't want to I don't want to equate it to intelligence. I think it's well, a, what would I you equate a, it to? Then? I think it's a, a sphere of attention. I don't so know their sphere means. of attention is what can I play? What do I enjoy? Right, but the oh, intelligence I don't like that. Yeah, I don't yeah, get but that the away. I sure, don't but like the that. intelligence part though or the self-awareness part though comes in when going like I think those are two different things. I think well, a dumb that, person can be self-aware. Okay, so I have a self-awareness of the way I play Snap, for example, if we bring it back to that. Quinn, I'm not willing to say it's intelligence because I don't want to call anybody dumb. So Because they're not or because you don't want to call them that? Both. I think I think that a major point of an argument uh, uh like your what 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 a position of something is on like an issue if your major argument is or a major premise of that argument is well the other side is inherently stupid therefore their position is not valid I I think that's like a logical fallacy like you've got to prove why their position is flawed just saying that they're unintelligent is not that doesn't demonstrate anything right but you are proving it if you are saying for example um you know here are the examples of systemic racism and that's what people mean when they talk about you know the the lack of fairness um even if you yeah, are but i don't white. know that somebody's unintelligent if they just choose not to or or, the, or if they just inherently don't care about things like if you don't inherently care about games as art or games as messaging, I don't know that you are a stupid person. You just have a certain sphere of attention. I, under, I understand that. But even the things that I don't care about, I have the awareness of going as much as it's fun to pick at you. And, and cause you just seem so easily riled up. I think it makes good entertainment. I hope you're having fun, but regardless I'm not of riled that, up, actually, but you know, just, it, I, I get what, what, this whatever is just me, David, like no, this whatever. Is just how okay, I, I want to I, I don't want to lose my train though. Um, regardless, um, what you are saying, I absolutely, like I have an awareness of, yeah, he's right. It must be boring and frustrating to, to think you were going to come on and talk snap in a real nuanced way. And here's this guy just kind of being a, a dork. Um, I get that. And and even though I don't think that's good or bad, it's a subjective take on the world. I understand and respect that there are people outside of that bubble that have just as valid a view on snap and what they like in a podcast and what they like in a live stream as anyone else, including me. So what I'm saying is the idea that your sphere of awareness, it's one thing to have a sphere of awareness and, and not be aware that you have the interest. sphere of awareness. It's interest. Like it's interest that leads into awareness. So you don't equate interest with awareness. Like there's not, there's not a, a, a direct link. Right. There I'm not, I'm not necessarily interested in the way you play Marvel snap, but that Correct. doesn't mean I think it's bad. I totally respect that you okay. vibe and, and you're good at it. And then there's people that aren't interested in it. So then therefore it, it's of no interest to them. Why would they need to, because you're well, another human idiocy. being and I'm not going to devalue your experience just because I don't understand it. Yeah, but they don't care. They have a limited sphere of interest. If it doesn't pertain to me. Right. So that's a lack like of it, intelligence or a lack of empathy. It's a lack or... of. It's selfish. Is what it is. Because in being that way, it hurts other people, but you don't care is why it's selfish. It doesn't necessarily hurt other people. It certainly can, but it, it's not, it's negligent or insensitive or inattentive. I don't want to hurt is like a direct active verb. Like I'm going to hurt you. I don't, I don't, it's not that it's, I am not paying attention. I do not care. I am yeah. insensitive to you. I am inattentive to you. I think when we use words like, oh, you're hurting other people people that they they deflect that because like, i'm not doing anything to hurt anybody what are you talking about like that's technically valid from a like logistical stand or like like a literal standpoint so no it's just like not it's having a lack of care having being self-interested self-attentive attending to oneself and what one self wants alone that's how these people sort of operate and then they go find other people that are like them 
and it helps them convince themselves that they aren't self interested mm. because they have a coalition of people that agree with them. So they're like, no, I, 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 you know, the, like the individual that called you out, right? I have a whole community of people that agree with me. We, I'm, I'm looking out for them. No, it's just they just are also just like you, and they see things the same way that you do. You're all just self interested to a certain degree, and so now, you just what do don't you care mean about how when other you people say feel. this is just how I am. What? How? How are you? What does that? What does that mean? You were basically you said that I was um, getting worked up. I think. So how are you when you say this is just how I am? How would you describe that? Animated when I do content when I co-host. Like, okay. Did you have fun tonight, Kirkland? Um. Yes. So, good. I'm glad. I like the dynamic. It's 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 saucy. And a little bit confusing. It's on the edge, baby. A little bit? Yeah. A little bit confusing. It's on just, the edge. Just a little? Oh, okay. you. my life is very complicated, sir. I assure you this is the least complicated thing that happened all day to me. Um, no, I am, Ravenos. I didn't lie. He asked if I had fun. And at points, I did. There you go. This is so weird. Do we like each other or hate each other, Kirkland? What's the deal? Oh, what we, um, what are we doing with this? I definitely, I definitely like you. Ha um, <laughs> ha! Zing. Okay, keep going. I don't know if I, I don't know if I like doing this with you, but Why? I like you a lot. Why? That seems like it's not a conversation for a live stream. Everything's a com wait. everything's a conversation for a live stream. That is so not true. You it's need a you need, you need an attorney true. or a PR representative or oh, both. <laughs> I said I sent a fucking contract back today. They said we want to pitch you a game. I said, great, send me an NDA. They sent me like an eight-page NDA, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with this? I don't I'm not signing this fucking thing. I says to these people, I says to them, uh, have your lawyer send me a one-page NDA that says everything we talk about in this meeting, neither one of us can repeat. That's it. See, but Darth, I didn't, I didn't want to play Snap. I, I wanted to talk. I mean, we could play a couple of games, sure. But me just beating up on him for like four games. Oh, I let you win. Doesn't care past, you know. Oh, this card looks pretty. Is not like win. super entertaining content. I don't think. Um. All right, Kirkland. Well, I am off to watch TV with the family. I appreciate it. I yeah, hope you shouldn't have let me keep you this long. No, Please. this is my schedule, and and I appreciate it, and. uh you know, I, I'd love to have you back on talking about game stuff, not snap, because you know, you know, you're out of my I'm out of your league. <clears throat> and uh objection. Have you ever it been in court? It would have been nice if have you ever like... been able to say objection in court? No. It it would have been nice yeah. if we could have actually like tested it as like a proof of concept like pilot, but you were like like I could tell based on our private DMs that like you were just not or I should have been able to tell at least that you were not gonna let that happen. Like you were like trying to get out of it, like trying to walk. It I was let's, never let's not trying give it a name. Let's not yeah, like, make it I, an official it's, thing. Do you know let's how many like... fucking shows on my channel? I've been like, it's good morning gamers. It's Gavin and games. It's lunch with you. I, I, I'm done making up fucking titles that never stick because I changed my mind. Cause I don't enjoy the uh, format after a month. So I'm not doing yeah, it well, because I give it. You didn't give it 30 minutes. bro. This is 30 minutes. This is more but than 30 minutes. This was your thing. This was not what I pitched to you. Well, then I, I pitched you that I was going to come on here. I have, you know, I have okay, well, roll, okay, so video what, let me, let me make ready sure to go. You can this. throw that up if you want to. And we were going to talk about, I, I, I made sure, this pitch I wanna, to you on I Twitter. Make sure I said I understand that we this. could go over the upcoming season. We could go over the past season, take a look back, talk about the cards, playing the cards. We did that for like five to 10 minutes. And you're like, I'm bored. Let's do something else. Right. But I was, what do you want to do? Why? We had the, I mean, uh, the viewers were engaged, but I don't know about that. Uh, maybe they I don't were. see. I don't know where, why, where are you, what are you basing that opinion off of? I will that, do videos. That's, that's okay. a limited sphere of, of, of interest. I well, would say. Okay. You're it's, bored. Have, therefore, have, everybody no, must no, be no, bored. No, 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 not that. No, I have data, right? I can see the numbers moving as can you. And more yeah, importantly, I've been watching it the whole time. More importantly, what I can tell you is that what I, I do videos and my videos range from being, you know, every now and then I'll get lucky and I'll put a video up they will get like a hundred thousand barely. Like I can count that on one hand on average. My videos do, you know, three to 6,000 views, give or take um, my Marvel snap videos. And maybe because I'm not very good at it. Um, 
literally I, I spent like two days making the Valentine's video and it doesn't even have a thousand views. Right. So I'm just saying yeah, that but I don't care about that. And I yeah, told you that I, okay, so over, what, okay. and over and over and over again. Okay, so I, I want to make if, sure I said, so, if so views what you're and engagement saying is are a contingency I have for the us platform, doing this, I have the followers, I have the numbers and you are saying, I want the show to be this way. Um, I don't care if it gets numbers, even though it's clear I do. Um, no, I, I I said that. I said if 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 it gets numbers is a contingency for us doing it. I don't know that we should. And you never gave me a direct response. I did. That. I can read it to you right now. I so my did, okay. direct response was um, I care very much about the numbers. Where if we have fun or people love the show. Let's keep doing it even if we don't have the numbers, I said. And if we have the numbers, that's that great. That means the opposite of that. That does not mean that it's a contingency. That means if we that means the numbers there are don't two matter. Criteria if we have num- if we have fun and people enjoy it. We didn't do it, so we don't know if we had fun. I mean, you didn't have I fun. I did it for I guess. 10 minutes. And and people and we don't know if people enjoyed it. So, like, you know, that's great that we didn't do my idea, I guess. Go do your idea on your own channel. But I pitched it to you and you said yes. Well, what's in it for me then? If I'm not having fun. That's then you say that about the pitch, not the, I did. I said, let's do it if we have fun. I mean, did you expect I'm, so, I'm so you feel like that's like a rolling thing? Like you have somebody on and then would they put you, effort yes. into doing something for your platform and like you can for pull my the plug in the middle. Would you of like the thing. to have a Marvel Snap show for three months on my channel? I will it will be your show. I won't be on it, but I will be more than happy to host it on my YouTube channel. That's not I mean you don't want that? Okay. Offers off the table. You're just being vindictive now. I'm not being vindictive, but I'm saying is that's not the what it's about. The idea was yes. that you are passionate about Marvel Snap. Love Marvel Snap. You're also more of a casual player, which is good. That's a different perspective. Two mm-hmm. guys with the same perspective is not usually entertaining. It's just an echo chamber. Mm-hmm. So the idea was you really, really enjoy Snap. You love it. I see you tweet about it. I've seen you make some videos about it. You're clearly passionate about it. You said you have like over 300 hours in it. 470 That's, that's hours. more than me, I think. Oh, yeah. Um, And I have know-how and can articulate things. And, and I can do the prep. And like you can just show up and wing it. And so I was like, hey. This is me winging it. It's derailing is what it is. But well, I pitched to you. I said, we can do a podcast type live show about marvel snap where we a week before the next season starts we cover the last season pass how we how we liked it how we liked the cards that came out and then we talk about you know guys i've got graphics of like baron zemo red guardian u.s agent all these cards that are come out if anybody cares probably not all these cards are about to come out we can talk about them whether we want to play them what it would be cool like to to play them with all this stuff you know, if if it's a good season pass because Zemo's in it, if it's not worth the 10 bucks, like whatever. And then, yeah, we got all that. And then you have the perspective of like, I like the Zemo card because it's purple or like, what? who cares? But like we do the whole thing. Yeah. And then like it's content. And instead it's like, I, like every five minutes with you, it's like, I don't want to do the, what you put the effort and work into doing that you pitched to me. And I said, yes, let's give it a go. Let's do something completely different. It's like, okay. I mean, if that's what you, how much effort did you put into it? It's some cards. I mean, I I mean about two hours. I I made all the B roll and you have B roll. Yeah. It's right there. Like we used it for like five minutes. I don't know, man. You asked me what my experience was. I'm just letting you know. All right. I appreciate it. I mean, I don't, it's, it's weird to you for you to be like oh do you just want to have your own show no the idea was like you're i like you're cool you like snap like like it's not that it's not that i just want like somebody like i don't think that i on my own let's put it this way mute mo just hit it on the head he says mute mo he says bro this is content this is the content i I like i like real shit i like the fact that you and i have attention right now and I like that we're acknowledging it. I like that I th- we did I think that the, we're not the, scared of it. That people can go, oh, you don't have to hate somebody just because you have attention with them. I think the I think the the cool thing to do then would be I don't like that pitch, but let's do something else. I didn't know if I wouldn't like it till we did it, and then I'm like, it's boring. I don't that I think you do that after the 
the thing is done. I think I've that's been insane. making games and insane. content and pitches since I was I 18 years old. I know like when you fucking minutes do it. into a thing and be like, this is boring. Let's stop doing this. Yeah. Well, I don't agree with that. That's how you, it's called, that's called, that's called, uh, Difference taking the bull opinion. by the horns. What? Yeah. The, yeah. Just the, the people can disagree. It's okay. Yeah. Gross. I found a video of him with Jaffe's best friend. One Mr. Grub says, <laughs> I don't even know why Grub doesn't like me. Grub blocks me. Does Grub not like everybody that he used to like? I don't even know like a the guy. Theme. He blocked me and somebody asked him why. And he said, oh, because I saw him advertising for his membership going, join the Diet Soda Soldier Army. And, and, and he was uh, implying that that was like some kind of right wing thing. It's like, bitch, I'm more liberal than you and all the fucking motherfuckers you know. Fucking tell me I'm a right winger. Can Kirkland come back from this or will this be the end of the bromance? There's no I, bromance. I would be happy to do content with David again. I think it's a privilege to come on here. Like of if course. I went live, if I went, I went live on my channel, I would get two to three people. So like this? I I totally am not trying to be like an ungrateful prick. I you just, don't come I, across I, like an ungrateful prick. It would have been prick. nice if we could have done the show that I pitched. That's all. I think that's reasonable. I, I think it's reasonable. I didn't know you cared that much. I thought we were just going to kind of fucking chill and talk snap and see where the wind took us, where the day takes you. Do you often get approached by people saying, hey, I've got an idea for a show that I could put effort into if you want to do it? And, and do you often think, oh, that person probably doesn't care? Uh, I was not made aware how much effort you would put into it. I mean, you had me doing the thumbnail and going, I want to be on this channel. I want to be on StreamYard, not OBS. And I'm like, okay, well, he clearly knows what I did he wants. Say I, I, can, I can make some graphics and I can sort of run it and everything. But yeah. That's, that's, that's not what we're here that's to That's life in Hollywood. And let me entertain you. Listen, you got you to gotta let the freak flag fly, Kirkland, or you're getting up in rehab and an alcoholic and I worry about you, man. I worry about you out there pounding the pavement, trying to build this thing, trying to build the name. I get it. I get it. But you gotta, you gotta, you know, the alcohol is not working for you, buddy. How much you drink a night? You know, a whole box of wine? Uh, no, no, I, that would be unhealthy. Because when you regulate the alcohol, does it make you secretly go, I need it? Like, do you have a no, but it does lead to a lot of like, um, social events and stuff where like they want to give you some of it, like, because they're like, uh, like, not as like bribes or anything, but they're like proud of it. Like, they, they, you know, especially with like liquor and crap beer and stuff, like, they think they make a good product. So, if you're like off the clock and stuff, they're like, hey, like, have some of this. Do you, you know? think alcohol is more dangerous than something like marijuana or mushrooms? Uh, I don't know about mushrooms. I, uh, I don't think I'm educated enough to speak on marijuana. Okay. I, I, I'm not super passionate either way, like legalization okay. or non, not legal. Like I, I understand people wanting it to be legal. I, it's not a product that I can Alexa, consume stop. because it's illegal. Like right. because it's illegal, I don't consume it, but I, I don't know that it makes me passionate about it. Like I'm not passionate about it. The reason you don't consume marijuana it. is because it's illegal or because you're not yeah. interested. It's very easy. That's a very easy decision for me. So that's, that's a liability that I would open myself up to. That is not necessary. Okay. If, if alcohol was illegal, I'd do the same thing. Really? Yeah. That's how laws are supposed to work anyway. I don't, yeah, I also don't, but come I also on. don't run red lights, you know, I don't either, but come on. You should know more than I mean. I most guess everybody people. speeds, right? I don't. I try not to. It's dangerous. But <laughs> listen, listen. The whole thing with the laws, though, so many laws are enforced in a corrupt way or founded and, and brought to life in a corrupt way that there's a point where it's like, yeah, you want to follow most laws so you can fit into society, but you need to be able to look at some situations and go, the government. Um, telling us that, hey, here's a free way to escape your problems. You can grow this shit yourself. And that's bad. Come on. You got to know that's horse shit. And you have to know that it was done in the 60s with Nixon in order to put a lot of black people in jail. Come on, man. I mean, these people, these fucking people in power are scumbags. You got to know that. You know that, right, Kirkland? 
you are uh, a a transitioning god in many ways. I don't know what that means. Uh, your your capability to cover a wide array of topics in a short, finite period of time is astounding. Objection. Right. Phoenix if Wright, I was good game I, series, I would want to do that. If I was in, if I if I had gone to law school, and I had all that debt. I would be saying objection all day long. It looks really, even it if looks it really cool in the Phoenix Wright games. He like points his finger and everything. Yeah, and there's like exclamation point. Yeah. All you right, know, cool. I bought one of those and I was I was fairly unimpressed with it. Like, I feel like they play it up in the marketing and stuff. Like, it has like good cutscenes and stuff like that. And it's just like the whole time, it's like that that like text. I hate like typewriter text. Like, do you think that that's ever been used good when it like goes across the screen with like a terrible sound effect where it's like, and it's just that the whole time, like the whole time you're playing the game. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's annoying. Like, why, why do you do that? A, just give me the whole text. Like, just make it appear. Why does it have to like funnel out like this so it like my brain's like, all right, I'm reading it. Like, yeah, it's, going. yeah I hate why are you doing that? Also, why are you attaching an annoying sound effect to it? Like, yeah. who had that the idea that like that was a good thing to do with text? I I don't like that person. All right, last um, question of the night, Kirkland. You ready? All of yeah. the Marvel Snap cards that have been released, marry, fuck, kill. Go. What? Who would you marry? Who would you fuck? Who would you kill? All right. I, I yeah. I need to let let me let me share my screen then. I guess. I yeah, need, I need to, to actually. I need to actually think about this. Yep. 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 Um. Oh, did did it did it pull it? Because I yeah, it pulled it. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, I'll put up my screen. You can see. Although you probably have no, more no, cards. I, I, yeah, I've got. Yeah. Here we go. It's sharing. All right, let's look at the, we'll, we'll do yours. Load. We'll do yours first. Um, am I watching the new Godzilla? You mean uh, minus one or whatever? I haven't seen it yet, but when it comes to streaming, I will. Um, oh, I need, I need, how do I do favorites? Is it this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I've got some, I've got some good art germ. I mean, I've just got some good. Okay, great. Germ. Murder, fuck, kill. Let's, let's just, let's just do like Marvel Snap hotties. You know, like, I mean. Like, okay, so on, the like three, Electra. the three women that you would, if you're into the women, I, I don't care. But what the three people or characters that you would want to have sex with the most in Marvel <laughs> Snap? Go. I'll do it too. Okay, I'll go first. Then, are you afraid? <laughs> No, I just, I just don't like that phrasing. Um, what phrasing that you wouldn't want to have sex with? Oh, look at her. That's like Taylor Swift, baby. Taylor Swift's supposed to be that role in the movie. I'd fuck Dazzler. You goddamn right, I'd fuck Dazzler. <laughs> Do you want her though? You get first pick. Is Dazzler your first pick? <laughs> this is this is oh, the show. Don't you get, this, no, 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 is, no, no. This is the actual show idea. It's just, no. it's just, <laughs> just you, going through and oogling it. Fine, and, uh, but do, are Marvel, you telling? Snap are you going to say anything or not? Are you going to give up the chance to? There's, you, some, there's some. There's some pretty nice. There's some pretty nice uh, variants in this game. Okay, but uh, you're not uh, actually uh, saying anything, so you're too shy. I you're guess. not saying. I, I don't. I don't want to. Uh, I don't. I don't know if anybody would. If any women would perceive themselves in these characters, and I don't. Who gives a shit? Really want to like. Again, man, that's that sphere of awareness. I, why would a woman have to perceive herself in a character that I find sexually attractive? I, I, I don't mind that she might I, look I think at, it's, I think it's just the idea that you could elect to, as you say, fuck them. Uh, it's a fantasy characters. I yeah, trust me. I get it. I get it. Do I think I, I, I have the opportunity Maybe with a few, but not most <laughs> of them. Um, Hey, Hey, you, you know, I created God of war, right? Like, no, trust me. That works really well. <laughs> Works really well if you want to fuck some f overweight, balding 40 year old. Sure. Oh my but, God. You know. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you because I know it's important good. the ones I would want. Um, yeah. Here's the ones I would take to bed. Um, and I would fuck the lizard if it gave me the opportunity to fuck these these cards I'm about to share with you. Hell, I'd fuck hell. Dude, you, know, Look at that. you know, Venom, like even before the movie was like very, uh, it was a hot topic on the internet. Like fucking Venom? Yeah, I like the well, fucking. Though. I mean, can you imagine? No wonder Sue Storm is in, in forever with Reed Richards. I mean, he can fuck her from across the fucking room. He can fuck her from across the state, and he can change the girth, the size, whatever the fuck he wants. 
Namor's got nothing. Nothing. Yeah, what's the deal with that? What's what's the deal with Namor and uh Invisible Woman? I well, they like each other. There's that chemistry. Okay, so I would I would not I would fuck Hell Cow. And that would give me the opportunity to have consensual intercourse with the following three Marvel Snap ladies. You're into you're into heifers then. No, what I said is I would do it because that's the price I'm willing to pay. Is what I'm saying. Nobody leveraged that. Like nobody was like, you it's have to. fun. <laughs> it's, it's voluntary. Fun. Like, why are you just volunteering? That? Cause that's fun. Nobody okay. required that. Like, you're like, okay, okay. I'll fuck the cow if I have to. <laughs> like when no one said, that's anything. how little I think of my ability <laughs> to get a woman as hot as Dazzler. This is what I'm saying. But how is that? How is so Dazzler's going to like see your amazing sexual prowess? It's not real. You, the moron. Cow, you spent too and much then, money in law and time in law school. It's not with a the real cow? thing. So wait, wait. So, she, so she's going to see your amazing sexual prowess with the cow in the, in the open farm field and be sure. like, Oh, I've got to have it now. Whatever gets her going. He really, I don't he care. Really Railed the bejesus out of that cow. Fine, I'm just going to tell you the It's people. late night with Kirk and Jaffe. White Queen? No. No, I don't think so. I'd fuck Ebony Maw if I could have Dazzler. I don't even have that Dazzler card. <laughs> Look at Ebony Maw. I'm... Where is this concept coming from? Of you like... have to pay for the things in life you want, sir. But uh, that... but how is fucking another thing the way that you like that like it's like you're like you're like tribute? It's like to go fuck yes. the cow? Like Absolutely. how how does that work? Like I don't okay. how do, what what society or like what what ritual practice is this based in? Like that you It's based on the fact that, you know, I know how I look and I'm not gonna get somebody like Dazzler without fucking a cow. You gotta pay. You gotta pay the gods, baby. That's how it works. But I don't think that you. I don't think you with the cow is in furtherance of that. Like I don't think that's gonna. What do you know? He's a cow. He can't tell like, you how like he the feels. Ca- like the cow gives you like a token. Like you get like a voucher, and then you like yeah. hand it to White Queen, and you're like, here you go. One. I don't cow want White fuck. Queen. I don't want White Queen. I didn't say White Did you queen. just say okay? I, I, I no. I said I don't want White Queen. Queen. Okay, here we go. You don't want White Queen. I don't want White Queen either. <laughs> Um, okay, here we go. I would do see, I don't have the great dazzler cards you do. That's a great card that you had. Okay, but I'd do spider yeah, put woman. My screen back up. I probably right. got better better cards for every every one of these cards that you're well, gonna you spend name. real money. So do you. Yeah, but not on in, oh that one's pretty a, good. I've, I've got a good spider one, but I don't okay. think oh yeah, okay. You're go back to something. Dazzler. Dazzle you. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good card. Yeah, give me about. Two, I need about two minutes. Just keep it on that. Okay, I think, <laughs> go with Dazzler. I think thirty-seven seconds. Uh, well, your mom didn't say that last night. Um, yeah. Okay, there was so zero. <laughs> that's because she didn't pay her check mounts. Um. So yeah, I go Sue Storm. You didn't da- stop by the cow field first. I would go Sue Storm. Firestarter is not in here. Firestar. Firestar is not in here. Firestar is coming i think i am at (laughs) listen (laughs) i would do i would go with um sue storm that's invisible woman oh i'm on a first name basis okay um and then i would have to put she hulk in for a a little a little uh dude i want um variety where's the how do i get to the shop i I don't play on pc do you know how i get to the shop i play only on pc so i don't know there you go yeah that's why i'm asking you um i want this oh show it wait i can't there you go i want this yeah because she's crazy in bed like i mean I tony just, stark I think it's a cool looking card oh the, shut the, up kirk does it, 5, does it, does it, does it bother you tokens. to be so bottled up all the time and not be able to express yourself can't you just say i tell you what <laughs> I'd I tell over, you what, I'd I, would, over I, would, death. Fuck, I would fuck that cow to get in bed with her. <laughs> right? What's the matter? You think they're gonna disbar you? No, I, I'm. I really, I'm so curious where you got this concept. They're like, you know, if you fuck a cow, <laughs> because you pay for things you want. Yes, but the cow is not. That's not currency. Like you can't be like you can't redeem that somewhere. Like oh well, I, I took care of that cow. Has anybody not? We're suggesting having sex with the She Hulk. This is a fantasy conversation, sir. Okay, I like that. Right? I like this. I like this card too. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. The art the art germ ones kick ass. Who is yeah, who is the ones uh that, that all they do is sexy women cards? Art I'll tell you what, I, it, if you guys think Sweet Baby Ink is controlling the industry, they ain't they ain't gotten to the Marvel Snap yet. No. Um Definitely yeah, what not. are they called? Yeah. Art yeah, art germ is what they're called. Yeah. Holy cannoli. Look at these ladies. Arrow's beautiful. I didn't even I I've been a Marvel reader since I was a kid, and I've never heard of Arrow. Um Oh yeah, I have Archer Amiro. Oh, there she is. But I don't play Dazzler, so I don't really go out of my way to get her. Magic's very, cool. Very anime, this one. Oh yeah, that was pretty good. Oh, Valkyrie though, look at Valkyrie. And then the, the other, uh, 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 Jane Foster is the Lady Thor. Come on now. Yeah, I don't have the Archer for her. I do like this uh, Gamora. You've got... Um, this there, that's the one I like. What do I, I got? Like, I got, I, like I have that. Better. Yeah. 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 Are you? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right, buddy. I'm going to head. Oh God. No, I would not have. No, <laughs> No, I just like the, uh, I like what a that horrible I got card. What a horrible this is card. like, I, this is like the only gold I have. I think when she comes up, I quit. And when, um, I made a deck of hers that like worked like for a while. Like I was very proud of that. What about that, ego? That the planet did. level? Oh, fuck yeah. that thing! Fuck that bullshit! We both have this Scarlet Witch one that's really nice. Yeah. I like this Domino one too. Mm -hmm. That one's really cool. She looks like a cat there, like from the band Kiss. Maybe I guess in the nose. She also looks like the modern renditions of like Harley Quinn. Why were you banned from the Discord? What happened? Nobody can tell me what happened over there. Tell me on the Discord. I'll be on tonight or tomorrow. I definitely be on tomorrow. I got to finish a video, and I'm going to hang. This out is more family. your. This is more your style. Mm, in the movie, yeah. In the movie, fuck yeah. Um, but not in that card necessarily. Um, yes, I, yes. I, I really, beats I Game's really, life. He says, "Ain't She Hulk seven feet tall?" Yeah. Sometimes you need. A, ooh. Sometimes you need a little variety, my friend. I really want you to expand on this cow theory on Twitter. If There's really nothing to expand on. What I was suggesting is because I'm asking for such a prize that clearly there has to be an offering up to some kind of, of of the of the world. <laughs> yeah, right. Now I would not, you know. Oh my god. You know. But uh, you know, I mean, that's just, how, that's how, just much, how it works. That's how it works in my little fantasy land. Kirkland Gray, thank you, buddy, for being here. Thank you for putting up with all the shenanigans. It was fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you felt the same. If not, I don't care. Come back anyway. This is what you need in your life. You need to be able to come onto a show and just fucking, you know, don't don't be that guy. Don't be one of these guys that <laughs> is be a real person, right? Be yeah. somebody that the audience wants to actually connect with. Don't be one of these fucking talking head morons. Come on now, Kirkland. Let me save you from a life of debauchery and uh evil a life of debauchery sounds like it, the something you would no you don't know anything with. you couldn't handle it you can't even tell me which <laughs> fantasy card you'd fuck you got nothing to do with a life of debauchery sit your ass down um here's what i'll tell you though uh i'm gonna start doing more chill streams still talking about games and stuff but it's not gonna all my stuff that's thought out is gonna be videos now because nobody wants to watch stream there's better ways to deliver that content and it ain't a fucking three hour stream, hmm. but I sound like RFK now I'm running for president. See, um, <clears throat> but, uh, come on to that show. If you want any time, I'll put the link up and, uh, I think people would like get a kick out of hearing this argue. Yeah. Um, yeah. Whatever. Fuck you, Kirkland. You don't know anything. No, I, <laughs> I, I, I like a bit of structure. Uh, no, God. What? No, no, nothing, nothing. Like I like if if we were if we were just gonna debate something like that would be that would be fun. Um, okay, well I'll let you, you know. Me, yeah, if you tell me in advance, like, or like you know, tell me I don't know. I I should have known it was gonna go off the rails. I guess, but the the sweet baby ink stuff was like you were focused. It's because you were engaged with that topic. Is what it well, was. it's because there's it, there's something to be. I don't fucking know. It's it you got it's in the day of the week that you catch me at the time of the day. I don't know where the brain's going to go. I had a therapist tell me once there's a theory called, uh, it's not called packing. It's you, were something... able, you were able to do a solid hour with, uh, with ginger. 
talking about um, Who's Ginger? Game Awards or something like that. Ginger Prime. Don't say oh, the Phil Ginger. Spencer guy. He's like a friend of you. No, I know, but I don't call him Ginger. I call him the call Phil him Spencer guy. Oh, uh, okay. Um, he's the, it's Phil Spencer. Um, but no, I, I can do a solid hour, but I, I, it's, you know, I don't know. This is just what it is. This is me now. Yeah. And tomorrow I may be totally cogent on certain topics. Yeah. Um, think about that. If William's wife dies, he's had his mother die way too young. Now he's got his wife might die way too young. Somebody did something in their past life that wasn't good. What are, what are we talking about? The the royal family. Objection! Your your brain is amazing. All right, fellas, be good. Kirkland, thank you, buddy. Thank you, chat. Good to see everybody. We'll see you on the next stream and video and blah, 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 blah. Go play Dragon's Dogma 2. It's good people. Or Rise of the Ronin, which I will go play. Go check out my guide video also. Yep. The channel Put the link up. Put the link up. Video games. I will do that, actually. Yeah. For Thank you to all 40 people that were on board this absolute crazy train. I have see this is what I understand. I know this is not the case. I'm not I'm not suggesting that this is accurate. But my thing right now says there's 629 viewers. We have 591 on Twitch. What does that even mean? No one's watching this on Twitch. If you go over there and you click it, you'll probably see like one person. Well, what's your Twitch? I'm not even following. David Scott Twitch. Jaffe. It's pr it's probably accurate. It doesn't so make sense. Nobody watches video people. live streams on Twitch. That's literally what people watch on Twitch. I don't think so. Yeah, Frosty says there's four people over on Twitch. Huh. It's weird. It's not even coming up. It's not David Scott. Yeah, Gungan says there's three of them. I don't know. That's no, that's no, I don't mean Twitch. I mean Twitter. I mean Twitter. Sorry. X. Oh, well. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe that's a total impressions number or something. Might be. Yeah, no, I don't mean Twitch. Sorry. All right, I'm off. See you guys. Be well, be safe. Uh, I will be editing this. Um... Oh, hey, Spectre Bull, I got to get you footage. I haven't recorded it yet. I'm doing it tomorrow. Enjoy the next ed... season of Marvel Snap, guys. Figure out yep. which cards are good on your own. I'm putting the fuck kill Mary thing as a separate video. It's going to do big numbers, baby. We're going to be stars. <laughs> it's going to be great. See you guys.